Yo, 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 everybody. What's going on, everyone? We are here for a, an official early access look at the brand new update in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope everything's going well for you all. We're going to get into some bear grinding because uh, if you guys didn't uh, see today's video, we got another great one bear. Let's add that to the great one counter real quick. Boom. 70 total great ones. Insane. Insane. Now you guys can see why I was hyping that video up so much. Like, just one of the craziest things we've got to do. That bear is not going to face us, so let's just, uh, boop, boop, boop. Boop. <laughs> I love this 300 AR. It's so good. It's so good. Boom. Just like that, we already have four kills. How's it going, everybody? Mr. O's, Trisol, we got Leighton, Airplane Dude, we got Unga, we got Charles, Ronnie, Bob, BM Hunter, Remington, we got Logan, we got Newt, we got Triple C, we got Xurix, we got Skeleton, and I'm pretty sure I saw Tony from DoorDash in there. What's up, Tony? Hey, Clip Slayer, how's it going, man? For those that are not aware, today I am streaming on YouTube and TikTok, so we're on YouTube and TikTok today. Hope you're all having a great day, though. Yeah, there you are, Tony. What's up, man? Hey, Death Reaper. I'm the first person to say your name properly. Holy crap. That's actually... I, 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 I always feel proud of that because I hear that a lot. I hear a lot of people say, wow, you're the first person that got my name right. I don't know how I do it, man. Because, like, every time I read off a name, I feel like I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> Every single time I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Yo, what's up, Blue? How's it going, man? Hey, Andre, what's up, man? What's up, my dude? Hope you're doing good. Do I think a tiger is coming to the game? I mean, it's always possible with the stuff they've done recently. I mean... They used to say that we'd never get ARs, and now we've got three ARs, or four ARs in the game. And one of them is ridiculously insane, so I guess it's always possible they could add Tigers in the future. Um, would I count on it? No. But it's always a possibility. Never write it off. Do I like the new weapon pack? I love it. I absolutely love it. Primarily this 300 AR. Like, if there was nothing else in the pack, I'd still be happy with it because of this 300 AR. I mean, this thing's just nasty, man. It's just nasty. I love it. It's like the good kind of nasty, you know. Oh, nice, Andre. That's awesome, man. I wish you luck. I wish you luck. Hopefully it goes well for you. It's always a nerve-wracking experience, for sure. <laughs> What's up, Archie? How you doing, Archie? Hope you're doing good. Uh, let's pop down here. Have the bear's drink times been switched yet, or will it happen after the update? It'll be whenever the update goes live. So, whenever you guys get the update on the 12th, that's when the times for bears will switch for all of you guys. The time is switched in this because I'm playing on the early access build. Hey, Cooper, what's up? Good luck in school, man. I know it's a much earlier stream than I would normally do. So I know that not all of you will probably be able to make the first part of it. I'm going to try and stream for a long time today. Like, this update right here has kind of made me want to get back into the super hardcore grinding phase that I used to be in, where I'd grind like six to eight hours on stream every day. We'll see how long that lasts, though. We'll see how long that lasts, though. We will see, man. We will see. <laughs> More bears there. That's the new update. It's a lot of fun, man. This weapon pack is really, really good. Uh, but my favorite part of the update is the fact that bears drink in the daytime now. 
Like, that is my favorite part of the update because it kind of sucked hunting them at night. And now we can see these beautiful bears in the daytime. I can imagine, Andre. I can imagine. It's a stressful thing. Anytime that you're about to propose to somebody, it's it's stressful for sure. How much is the pack gonna- Oh, lord. Hi. How much is the pack gonna be? I- They haven't actually said the exact price yet, but I'm assuming it'll be around the normal price of like $3.99. $3.99 USD, that is. $4.99? It's really? Really? It's $4.99, Johnny? Did they, like, officially announce that? Because I didn't hear anything about price range. What's that in Canadian? Um, around the same. It's not too much different. It's on their website? Oh, it's $4.99? Jeez, they raised the price, didn't they? I thought they were always $3.99. I, I guess they raised the price on this uh, weapon pack. Well, I guess, you know, inflation, so it makes sense. Two more down. So, when we started the stream today, I already had four bear kills because I shot four of them for one of the videos. And so that means our grind's currently at 16 kills since uh, I got that great one in today's video. Oh, nice clipped. Nice. Is it weird having elk drink zones the same as bears? No, I love it, actually, because it means that I can do two grinds at once if I want to. I like having the elk and the bears drinking side by side. Level six bear. Anything over here? Nope. What great one did I get? We got another great one bear. It was a fabled spotted. Or, yeah, yeah, fabled spotted. I love this gun. It's so good. It's just so good. And this might be the best gun they've ever released. I'm so happy that we've got this thing. So good. So freaking good. Where the other one? Oh no, it's floating! Better reset the time and try to force it back onto the bank. Can't wait to try this new 300. I know, right, Tony? It's a nasty, nasty machine. Does it reload faster than the 308 AR? It seems to be the same. From what I can tell, it seems to be about the same. I shot my stack great one bear by accident last night. Got vital though, at least. Hey, at least you didn't mess it up, man. That's all that matters. And I personally would have recommended killing it anyway before this update, just in case something weird happens. I mean, it's unlikely something weird will happen, but you never know. I always recommend that if you have stacked great ones to shoot them before a major update, just in case. Because there's definitely, you know, chances that stuff could happen. What was my longest fallow great one grind because you're now 2450 kills in with HM and still have knock out the great one. My longest fallow grind was like 2270 or something like that. It was close to what yours is at right now. Oh, legendary. Let's go. Guaranteed diamond. 23 to 25 estimate. There we go. First diamond of the day. First diamond of this grind as well. Oh, that's the wrong gun. There we go. Anything else? Might as well drop that uh, level 3 Rocky as well. If you shoot a great one more than twice, will it not be a great one? Yes, that would be correct. If you put three shots into a great one, it'll take it down to a gold. 
Oh, it's max score. Let's go. Let's go. Max score bear. Don't let Caitlyn see. Our first diamond of this grind is a max score. Love to see it. What map am I on? This is Silver Ridge Peaks. What's the class range of the new 300? It's class 7 to 9. Nothing there. Big male for sure, Unga. Big male for sure. Yeah, we've done a lot of great one bear grinds, Wild Pursuit. I use herd management on my grinds, so we get a lot of uh, max weight bears. I think we need a main menu. Like, I've already taxidermized, like, 15 max score bears, so it's like, once you have that many, what's the point in taxing any more of them? Because they, they all look the same. Like, with a, with a deer, I can understand, like, taxing a bunch of different big males and stuff, because they got antlers. They can look different. The bears, it's like, there's, like, three furs or two furs or however many common furs there is, and once you've got one of each, then after that, they all look the same. There's an 8 and a 5 there. Oh, something there. A 7. What are we hunting? We're going for black bear today. Because this new 300 AR is nasty against them. Just... Oh my gosh, it's just wonderful. It's just so good. So I think that whenever we get another great one... I think I'm going to use the 10 gauge on the next one because I actually really like this 10 gauge shotgun. Uh, you guys are going to see this thing in action a little bit in tomorrow's video, but you ready? Oh my gosh. It's so good. <laughs> it sounds incredible too. It, it, to be honest, it kind of reminds me of like a, a shotgun out of Call of Duty with the sound. It sounds like a shotgun from Call of Duty. I can't put my finger on which shotgun, though. But I remember a shotgun sounding very similar to this one. There we go. What's my longest bear grind? 8,314 kills. <laughs> my first bear grind was my longest, and... Boy, was it long. It was the most grueling, annoying grind I've ever been on. Oh, was that something? It is. There we go. No bears over there. Like, it, it's insane the speed at which we can hunt with now. Like, it's insane the speed that this rifle has. Our grinds are never going to be the same. We've killed 22 bears in 15 minutes of being live, and two of, two of those minutes were the intro. So we've only been live shooting bears, technically, for like 13 minutes. In 13 minutes, we've killed 22 bears. It's insane. Like, this rifle is so good. I know the update's not live yet, uh, Chaz. It's going to be live the 12th, the 12th, but we have early access right now for a few days for content creators. Okay. Okay, buddy. Get out of here. No mountain lions allowed in the vicinity of my bears. Well, you know, semi-automatic doesn't matter if you can't aim. <laughs> R.I.P. Okay, I gotta see if there's going to be any tracks right here. What's up, Metal? What's up, man? Okay, yeah, nothing there. We're good. My start of bear grind on the 12th? Definitely recommended. Now, something that I do have to make very clear with these bears, if you get the update and you don't see any bears in their new drink time, go to the old drink time and shoot all the bears because... 
Uh, they did not do a pop reset with this update for bears, which means all of your bears are going to continue going to the old time until you kill them. Once you've killed them, they'll start going to the new time. Ah, missed him. Missed him. Oh, it's going to be great, Unga. It's going to be great. It's going to be a great, great update. Hit 1,500 today on the old fallow. Oof. Feels bad, Metal Man. Hopefully, that great one will show up soon for you. Nice, Blue. Glad you're liking it. I, I like the Bear Grind a lot. I used to hate it, but then once I figured it out, it's been a lot more enjoyable. Uh, the update will be live on all platforms on the 12th. Uh, Creed, currently it's only for the partnered content creators in the Hunter Discord. So yeah, it's not a... Uh, PC doesn't even have it at the moment. It's just like a few content creators that have it. But the 12th, everybody will get access to it. They usually drop updates around like 2 to 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 5 to 6 Eastern Time. So that's when you can expect to see it going live on the 12th. Anything down there? No, nothing here. Okay. I blame the mountain lions. Uh, yeah, I'll check it out, Johnny. I swear I heard somebody say that it didn't, but I'll check it anyway. I gotta wait for my bears to show up again anyways. Because they're being weird. There's... Oh, too heavy. Who would have known? Let's see. Nope, it's zeros to 150 still. Wow, that's weird. They need to fix that. That that should not be a thing. The 4570 lever should 100% be able to zero to at least 200 at the max. Like minimum 200. Because now the handgun 4570 is just going to be considered better. But if we're if we're talking realism or realism realist <laughs> realism I started to say realistic and then I switched to realism la last uh, half of the word. If they're going for realism here, that ain't realistic. Rifles have much more velocity than a handgun. Oh, no, it's floating. <laughs> Always the freaking floaters, man. When do you think the new map will come out? Hoping they go back to the usual every six months. Um, I'm not sure when the next map will come out. But yeah, I'd like to see them do them every six months again. But as of now, we don't know when the new map's going to come out. My prediction is June, because that's the normal time they would release one. What was my longest moose grind... Uh, my longest moose grind was 4,500 kills, I believe. Yeah, I think it was 4,500 kills. This daddy, what's up, dude? Welcome back with the four months as a member. Four months as a member, man. Let's go. I've been good, Dino. I've been doing good. Archie with the 28 months. Welcome back. 28 months is crazy, Archie. That's crazy. Jazz with the six months as well. Holy. Everybody's popping in. I cannot be with six months. I'm the real daddy. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, sorry, Chaz. Before you got that one through, you already got one upped again by uh, by Archie. Oh, it's just so smooth. It's just so smooth shooting.
Such a good rifle. What's up, John? Got an albino wildebeest the other night? Nice, dude. That's awesome. That is awesome, man. I think it does too, Aiden. Or Ad Adian? Aiden? Adian? Yeah, I think it does as well. My opinion on it has changed like five different times though. At first, I, I didn't think it affected them. Then I started thinking it affected them. Then I started thinking it didn't affect them. And now I think it probably does affect them. In certain scenarios, at least. Like, the more UHM, I feel like it does. Does chat make Call of the Wild better? Yeah, honestly, like, being able to have a chat to talk to while playing Call of the Wild definitely helps keep the interest up. Because I'm not just, like... Hunting in silence, you know? Being able to chat with you guys while I hunt definitely helps keep me more interested. <laughs> what was that? That bear just shot backwards. What's up, Brayden? How's it going? Oh, it's CG. What's up, CG? Little dusky feller there. <laughs> oh, totally, Metal Man. Totally. <laughs> Oh, it happens, Max. It happens. Not all grinds are going to be short and fast. Like, you will run into lots of long grinds here and there. It's unlucky when your first grind is a long grind, but it happens, you know. Yeah, true, Archie. True, true, true. It's actually crazy, like, how long you've been in the community. It's insane. Yo, what's up, Sofly? How's it going? Wait, I... I know... I know that that's not what your original name was. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've seen you in chat. What was your... What was your previous name, Sofly? I know you were a regular. Revive! That's right. What's up, dude? Good to see ya. What's going on, man? Nothing here. Bear's being a little weird, not gonna lie. There's been a little weird. We might need to main menu. He spawned Great One Pizza 202 and 203 last night. Let's go, dude. Do you think stacking Great Ones decreases the odds of spawning another one? Because I have three on my map. I don't know. Because, like, we don't know the way that Great Ones spawn. So I, I really don't know if, uh, if it would. Dude, freaking Mountain Lion. These little turds are everywhere. <laughs> okay. Hop over to this zone. Where am I hunting? The top left on Silver Ridge Peaks. Level six. And level six. How do you change the color of the binoculars? Uh, this is not something that you can do yet. You have to wait till this update drops on the 12th. Once this update drops to everybody, you'll be able to do it the same way that you would put a skin on one of your rifles. You just go into the storage. Just like this. And... Press the corresponding key. For me, it's C, but it'll show whatever platform you're on. It'll tell you the control in the bottom right. And then boom. We don't have to kill them to switch drink time? No, you do. You do, Disc. Um, I've already done all that. Because... You know, I've had access to this for a week now. So I already got through all of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're blinging it out. Oh yes, that's what we do. That's what we're doing there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, customizable collars would be sick. Like being able to put like different camo patterns on it would be awesome.
No, I cut it. I cut it out of the video, Disc Daddy, because they already talked about it in the EW stream. Is there a new great one? I didn't recognize the animal on the thumbnail. Um, let's see. The last two great ones that were added were the moose and the fallow deer. Uh, the one on the thumbnail is a fallow deer great one. Nothing here. Also, how's it going, Darian? Thanks for dropping by, man. What's up, Christian? What's up, Simon? Six and an eight. It's just so efficient. I love this rifle so much. I just, I can't say it enough. Like, I just can't get over it. I'm new. What is zeroing? So the zeroing perk will allow you to change the zeroing distance of your rifle. So for example, if you look in the bottom right, you'll see it says 150 meters. If I hit F, it goes to 75, now 300, then back to 150. Whatever you set it to, that is the distance where it'll hit exactly where you're aiming. That's like essentially the quick breakdown of it. One of my friends said he had the community record for every fish on his old account, so he can't show me, but I said I had a Mel Albino Pie Whitetail with a drop time rack, but I deleted it. <laughs> ah, man, oh man. You love to see it, BM. <laughs> oh man. Holy crap, four bears at this zone. One, two. Where'd the others go? Three, four. That's crazy. I've never had four bears here. I've had three bears here before, but never four, I don't believe. Ah. I got to get him before he runs away. Gosh, no. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well, man. Well, it's because this update's not out on... It's not out to the public yet, uh, Darian. I'm playing on an early access build that was set up for speci specific content creators. The update drops on the 12th, so once it hits the 12th of this month in four days, uh, then you'll be able to skin the binoculars. Did I miss a bear? Or did I just not hit one of them good? I must have got a bad hit on one of them. Yeah, definitely got a bad hit on one of them. Oh well. Yes, I pick up all my kills, because if you don't, you will not get a great one. Like you can use, you can leave a few here and there, but if you're leaving all your kills, you're never going to see a great one. And that is what has been said by the developers. Dude. No way you're spooking off. Oh gosh, I'm out of breath. There's got to be a mountain lion near. This is ridiculous. There's got to be one somewhere. They're, they're screwing everything up for me. <laughs> Randy, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. I love you. You're the best. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the support. That is super generous of you. Eh, I don't need the ATV. I'll just walk. Have they changed the black bear drink time? Yes, they did. They did. This update, the bears drink from four to eight. However, if you still have bears, if you're like, if you get into the game, right, and you don't see the bears in their new time, you will have to go back to the old time and shoot all the bears. And then once you've shot them, they'll come back at the new time. Because they did not do a pop reset with this. They did not pop reset the bears whenever they change the drink time so now if you want to get them at the new drink time you have to go to the old drink time and shoot all your bears and then they'll show up at the new drink time the little uh <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. the little um rough 
unless you already have your bear's herd managed, then at that point you only shoot your uh, your shootables. But yeah, if you're uh, if you're just wanting to start a grind right now, it's gonna be rough. <laughs> Brandy, thank you for another super chat. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing great. What would I rate this update? Um, I'm going to say 7 out of 10. Because it would be higher. But I'm not a fan of some of the class changes to some of the animals. And... The whole, like, not pop resetting the bears. I dock a little bit of points for that as well, because although it's very, like, beneficial for me, because I already had an HM grind set up, and so all I needed to do was shoot, like, eight bears, and I was good to go. But for everybody else that doesn't have their bears set up like this, it's going to be such a struggle to get, like, all their old bears shot. That way they can have them in the new time. But aside from that, it's a really good update. Like, the new weapon pack is great. We've got the uh, the binocular customization. And then, like, some of the class changes for the animals are really good. 4570 buffs okay. I was zeroed incorrectly. Whoops. Holy crap. Oh, I gotta scroll up. I just saw some in... Got your GoPro 12 for your graduation. Been making a few videos here and there practicing for a special trip I'm doing next month. Let's go, Revive. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. What's my favorite update? Man, my favorite update they've ever done. So, there's a couple that I really like. I think my favorite update they've ever done. So, like, as much as I tell you guys all the time that I don't really like New England Mountains as a map, I think that might have been my favorite update. And the reason it was my favorite update is because we got the Great One Moose. And we got weapon customization. Two things that have become, like, my favorite parts of Call of the Wild. Like, the weapon customization is one of my favorite features they've added. And the Great One Moose is my favorite Great One. Now, a nice second place would be the Emerald Coast update. Because Emerald Coast was a great map. The Great One Fallow is a really good Great One. So that update is a close second for me. Yeah, the Emerald Coast update is great. Logan, thank you for the 12 months, man. Much appreciated. Yeah, it has been very long since the last update. Wait. A bear just spawned in. I just saw a bear across. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? There we go. Okay. That's better. Our bear uh, kills per hour number is slowly going down, though, because we've had to, like, main menu a few times just to get the bears to cooperate and to get those freaking mountain lions out of there. Yo, what's up, Pike? It's good to see you, Pike. How you doing, man? Is the recoil about like the 308? If you have tier 3 recoil management perk in the shotguns category, then yes, it is insanely controllable like to the point where it's kind of OP like it, it's kind of ridiculous how accurate it is you missed 20 great ones <laughs> you did Pike you missed 20 great ones man when did dark Gemsbach become rare ah oh, man it's been a while now like maybe a year and a half two years I know they've been like that for a while Do all of my bears show up at the new drink time if I have zero zones? Um, no, because that's not how it works. It's not about finding the zones. Because the zones exist on your map whether or not you've found them or not. It's like, even if you never have found a zone, it is technically still on your map. 
So you would still have to go find all of your old zones and kill all the bears to get them to go to the new time. Which is why I was saying it's kind of not ideal and I wish they would have just done a pop reset so that we could avoid this issue, but it is what it is. Can I do the fallow grind? Maybe at some point. We might do it at some point today. I'm starting off with bears because I've really been enjoying shooting the bears with this rifle. It's been so much fun. Oh, definitely. It would have been a lot better if they would have just pop reset it, but it is what it is. Under Creech, thank you for the gift on TikTok. Appreciate it. Uh, maybe at some point, Jeff. We will see. We will see. How many bears do you have? I saw your first, I think. Uh, we've got seven of them now, Pike. The first grind was by far the longest grind. First grind was the 8,300 kills. Second grind was 3,800. And then every bear grind after that has been under 1,000. With a couple of them being like 100 or 200. It was like once we got past that uh, that first grind, things just got a lot better. I was going to start a bear grind, but I don't know if I can be bothered now. Yeah, it's not going to be ideal. Now, I do want to also mention that I believe it was Jaxy Beard mentioned on the EW stream, on the last EW stream, that if you would like, you can always, if you're on PC at least, you can always just delete your population file manually. But the problem with that is that will like erase all progress on every single animal on that map. So it's not an ideal solution, but he did say that if you really don't want to go find them all, that that's something people could do. Seven, seven, lucky number seven. Love to see it. Oh, the 300 AR is really, really good, man. The 300 AR is really good. Ooh, rip, Chaz. Yeah, in that case, the only thing that you can really do is go shoot all your old bears and get them to pop up at the new time. What's up, Caitlin? What's up? Where's Nate at? Ah, probably sleeping, knowing him. Nah, I don't think he's actually sleeping because I talked to him earlier. I was messaging him earlier. He's probably just doing Nate things. I missed it. What's going on with the bear zones? So they changed the drink time of bears to the morning. So now bears drink from four to eight. But they did not do a population reset to the bears. Which means that until you go and shoot your bears, they're going to drink at the old time. So in order to get them at the new time, you have to go shoot all of your bears after this update drops. Why are all the bears males? Because I shot all the females out of these lakes and they now are at other lakes. This is... A grind that I've been doing for almost 15,000 kills in total amongst all my great one grinds for bears. So we've worked all the female bears out of these zones and they're now only in other lakes. We've got a few females up here. Um, we have a few down at this lake, but they're drinking at the other time because I have not shot them. And then I have female bears at all the other lakes. And the way you do that is you essentially just shoot all the female bears until they move out of those zones and spawn at other places. 
Uh, because I wanted to stream on TikTok today, Levi, and I can't do three streams at once or else it overloads my PC. Sadly, he hasn't revived. Sadly, he hasn't. Upgrade your PC. I It's already pretty upgraded. I mean, I've got a 4070 and 64 gigs of RAM and all that good stuff. It's just, you know, anytime that you're gaming and streaming on the same rig and you're streaming to multiple platforms, it's very intensive. Um, ideally, the best way to do that is to have a separate PC for your streaming and then play games on the other PC and then just like have it go through a capture card. That's like the ideal way to do it, but I don't really have the room. I don't have the space to do a two PC setup. Okay, another one that can boost your first one. Yeah, that, see, yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. I'd, I'd love to do a dual PC setup, but yeah, I just don't have the space for it. Like, uh, my, my, my little office area, right? My little office area is in our bedroom, so. I have limited space. Oh, you did, Fishy? That's hilarious. That, that is hilarious. Something you do with male and females is have all the males drink in the a.m. and the females drink only at night. That's kind of what I've done. And that's why I'm saying, like, it's not all bad that the uh, that they didn't do a pop reset. Like, if you know what you're doing, you could totally get, like, a pretty crazy grind just by leaving all the females drinking at night and then having all the males drink in the day. Or like I've done where I've only got my... Like, shootable males drinking in the daytime. So if I see a bear in the daytime, I know that it's one that I need to shoot. You've got to check some of these other lakes, though. See if we got any stragglers. Because occasionally I do get bears spawning over here. Looks like we're good, though. Looks like we're good. I should also check this spot. Can't wait to see a 10 fabled. Me either. Drop shot. Hoping that we can pop one today. Okay, no tracks here. Good to know. Don't have any there. What should I do if my fallow don't respawn in their zones? If your fallow are not respawning in their zones, there's really only a couple reasons for that. Either they just have not respawned yet. Or they've moved to different areas. If they've moved to different areas, you just got to go figure out wh where they've respawned. Wait, did I just... I knew I saw another... Spotting thing pop up. Five bears down. <laughs> I, I think I got all five at least. That's a lot of bears at one zone. Can I pin? Uh, which one? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. There you go, Kalen. There you go. It's pinned. Ooh, that bear ran a ways. That bear ran a little ways away. Must not have been a good shot. Actually, yeah, this is the one that we hit a little bit too far back. How's the new 4570 pistol? Uh, it's really fun. It's got a longer range than the than the lever action does, which is kind of weird. But its penetration is not great. Like it has very low penetration from what I've seen. The 4570 buff didn't really buff it that much. Aside from giving it some extra range. But it's a really fun handgun and it sounds good. So it kind of depends on what you were really hoping to get out of it, really. It's fun, but I can't see myself using it too much. Hey, thank you for the seven months, man. 
Welcome back. Seven months in a row. How's it going, Zaki? I've got seven bears now, but I think I'm going to start grinding bears pretty hard with this 300 and try to get a few more. I'll probably just go till I get the spirit bear. Because that's the last one I need is the spirit. Yeah, it wasn't really a 4570 buff. It was more of a 4570 range increase. Because didn't Jaxi just say that they increased the velocity of it or something? When will I grind Whitetail again? Not sure. We're currently set up for Moose. Oh, what the? Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Bro. Rude Elk. <laughs> Very rude Elk. They, they don't want me to, to be successful with the bear hunting. Holy crap. Nate with the five gifted memberships on YouTube. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, there's another bear. This is why the 300 AR is amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. But Nate, thank you for the five gifteds, man. Congrats to Trent, Spudley, Eli, BM Hunter, and Hunting Dude for getting those gifteds. Oh, this poor thing. Oh, this poor thing. <laughs> Did you see how quick you can fire that thing? It's insane. Funny resemblance to beavers. I know, right? Elk hits the tent. Call the wilds like, hey, yeah, the beavers took it down, man. Them, them their darn beavers. Don't see anything there. How does the 300 shoot? Oh, it's insanely good, Hunter. It's got about the same levels of recoil as the 308 AR, but with a massive 300 Magnum round. It, oh, legendary. Let's go. Second legendary berry of the day. There's a bear there, too. Somewhere tucked in the back, there's a bear. So that's our nine. That's a seven. Nice. You know how much the new gun pack will cost? I've heard it's going to be $4.99 USD. So you can convert that to whatever currency you may need to. Ah, it's a troll. It's a bad troll, too. That's a really bad troll. Oh, gosh, man. That's a crazy troll. How far does the 300 shoot? Uh, it's got a 300 meter max zeroing distance, but it, it shoots. You can get it to be accurate way farther than that. It's got it's got the same ballistics as the other 300 as far as I can tell. So in other words, it's pretty crazy. How many diamonds? Uh, we have one diamond on the day. One in total on this particular grind. Oh. Three more big males. A six and a four. All small males, actually. <laughs> no big males, all small males. How do we get five at this zone again? Jeez. <laughs> Gonna need to put another into that last one, though. There we go. These poor bears. Spider, thank you for the one month, dude. Welcome back. Welcome back, Spider. And Thunder, thank you for the 12 months. Holy. Holy, holy, holy. All the repeat members popping in. Hey, Jason, how's it going? Don't know what to do. I'm over 9,000 kills on my red deer. No great one, just one super rare. Okay, my first question is, are you claiming all of your kills? 
Because the devs have hinted a couple times that if you don't claim your kills, you can't get a great one. Aside from that, like, it's very heavily luck-based. You can have some pretty bad luck at times. I mean, my longest bear grind was 8,300 kills. So, like, it's not unheard of for a grind to approach 10k. It's definitely not common to have one go close to 10,000, but... It definitely isn't impossible. Really, all you can do, man, is just keep on pressing forward. Just remember that it has to spawn eventually. That's the thing that kept me grinding when I was on my 8,300 kill bear grind. I just kept remembering that, you know, that great one could be right around the corner. I could be one kill away from getting it. And I just tried to remind myself that. That if I give up now, you know, I'll never know if I was a couple kills away from getting it. Oh no, Jason, rip. Gotcha, Yoda, gotcha. Is this early access or is this actually out? This is early access. It'll be out in four days. Full release is the 12th. Should come out around 2 to 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 5 to 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Killed 5k moose, no great one, or super rare, no rare and 2k kills. That's a rough grind, man. That's rough. I had a streak similar with Whitetail once for the rares, where I didn't get a rare for like 15, 1600 kills. Yo, what's up, Zevin? How you doing, man? 19 months as a member. Welcome back. Welcome back, man. Oh, there we go. Mythical bear. It's a mythical bear. He's dead right over there. Hunter 11, thank you for the super chat, dude. Oh. <laughs> Nine legendary. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> what was that, man? What was that, little guy? <laughs> it's a max weight, too. Wow. We've had two diamonds, and both of them were max weight today. He didn't make max score, though. He's 0 .05 off. Hunter 11, thank you for the super chat once again, man. At a 9,872 kill phallogram with 131 trolls, 297 dimes, 46 rares, and one super rare. Jeez, man, that's a wild grind. That's wild. Man, that nine surprised me. <laughs> oh, man. Just watch your last YouTube vid. Seeing the spotted fur in the daylight is so fire. Dude, it does look so good in the daytime. I'm so happy. That they're finally a, a daytime drinking animal. Like, regardless of how how rough it is that they didn't do a pop reset, and that's definitely going to negatively affect some people. I love the fact that we can finally see the bears in the daytime, for sure. Like, they are gorgeous. They deserve to be seen in the daytime. Elclips and Mr. Schrader, thank you for sending the uh, the gifts on TikTok. Appreciate it. Got my first super rare yesterday. Nice, bow hunter. Let's go, dude. That's awesome. That's super cool. Can you show us where you are on the map? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Right up here, top left. I hunt these five lakes right here, and then I occasionally check this one to see if I have a straggler, because occasionally I do get them to go over there, but normally they just stick between these five lakes. How you doing, Trader? Hope you're doing good. What are the new guns? Uh, Okay, Schrader already answered you there. It's the ones that Schrader just named off in the chat. What's my opinion on the 4570 pistol? Uh, cool gun. I'll probably take down some diamonds and great ones with it, but aside from that, I'll probably never really use it. 
Unless, of course, I'm trying to go like super ultra lightweight loadout for like setting up a new map or something, then it'll come in handy quite a bit because, I mean, it only weighs one. It only weighs one unit. And I mean, it has a 200 meter distance, so it's not bad. Holy crap, L clips! <laughs> Sending all the gifts on TikTok. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. My animals should be different levels, like pronghorn should be level three, not level four now. Uh, yes, once the update drops. Once the update drops, it has not released yet. Uh, this is an early access look at the update. It'll full release on the 12th. That's when all the class changes will happen. How do you go so many great ones? Well, I have killed over 100,000 animals on great one grinds. So that, that helps a lot, for sure. And I also use herd management, which is very likely a method that increases your chances of getting great ones. It's not confirmed, but from what I've seen, I definitely think that if you herd manage the right way and you actually like get it to a point where you're popping diamonds like every 15, 20 kills, I, I definitely see an increase in great ones on average. Obviously, there's some people that don't get an increase just because of bad RNG. But I mean, you look at people like I buy premiums, you look at my grinds, you look at Mel's grinds, like I, I think at this point, for the most part, it's pretty obvious that it has at least some type of an influence on the spawns. Hard to say exactly how much, but definitely seems to influence the spawns a little bit. What's RNG? RNG stands for random number generator, which is essentially just saying like randomized, like there's randomness to it. And that is the other thing about Call of the Wild, right? No matter what you do, no matter how perfect you do things, there's always a chance that you just get bad RNG. Like for example, my first ever bear grind that took me 8,300 kills to get my first great one bear. That would be a very clear case of bad RNG. That was like the worst RNG you could get. Might actually try and get a great one bear now that they drink in the daytime. Oh, dude, it's really fun now. Like, I didn't mind the bears before, but now that you can actually see them in the daytime, it's just 10 times better. Does the camo not go on the eyepieces of the binos? Yeah, it doesn't. It only covers, like, the main body of the binoculars. Oh, that's a rare! Oh, that's a rare! Oh, that's a blonde! That's a blonde bear! What level is it, guys? Put your votes in chat! What level is that bear? <laughs> oh, man! What level do you guys think it is? Where'd he go? He's right there. He's right there. Oh, there's another bear. There's a nine legendary next to him. Oh. Okay, so that doesn't give me very high hopes for this one being a legendary, because that guy's a legendary. I'm seeing a lot of you saying level six and seven and eight. I've seen a few of you saying nine. What is it? It's a mythical! Holy crap! Oh, you were so close to being a super rare! Man, he was so close. Wow. Dude. And he's next to a legendary. Oh my gosh. Oh, so close, but so far. Holy crap, man. That's my biggest blonde bear ever, by far. I think my record for a blonde was a level 7. This guy is going to be my biggest blonde fur type bear ever. Wow, he's beautiful. All right, turn your head, buddy. Seeing the bears, like the actual rares of the bears in the daytime is so nice as well. Yeah, I have not got a lot of blondes before. Um, I'm just going to call you Snowman since your name's like a snowman emote. 
Yeah, I've not got a lot of blonde snowman. I think out of my almost 15,000 bear kills in total that I've had over the last like year and a half to two years. I've only had like three or four blondes out of almost 15,000 kills. Dude, he is just refusing to turn his head all the way. I don't like that. Should I shoot this guy first? Oh, wait, he's moving now. He's moving now. Yeah, for sure, Caitlin. It is really nice seeing them in the day. Hey, little buddy. Turn, please. Yes. Okay, we got them both. We got them both. Also, it's been exactly one hour since we started shooting bears. We killed 75 bears in an hour. That ain't bad. I'll take that. 75 bears in an hour is pretty good. Look at that beauty. 2180. It was one point off of diamond. Literally one point off of diamond. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me, man? So close. So freaking close, man. Jeez. That's wild. That's wild. Well, let's see if the level nine makes diamond. I didn't check his estimates, so I don't know if he was guaranteed. 2309. Man, if only you could have been the blonde. If only this could have been the blonde. You had to be right next to a level eight blonde. Come on. Crazy, man. Crazy. Okay. Um, no, I think it's just TikTok, uh, Snowman. I think TikTok just makes my mic sound worse. Um, if you want to, Snowman, you could head over to my YouTube channel and see how it sounds on there. Because, like, TikTok Live's, uh, software for streaming does not have all of the, like, uh, filters that help the mic sound better. Like, uh, when I stream to YouTube, I use OBS so I can add, like, compressors, I can add limiters, I can add a bunch of different other things. Oh, I heard a bear. I think. Maybe it was just elk. I, I swear I heard a bear, though. Oh, you're static on YouTube. Gotcha. TikTok makes his mic sound off. I was just in the YouTube stream and it was better. Yeah, I figured it was TikTok because, yeah, like I said, I don't have any of my filters over my microphone on TikTok. Brayden, thank you for the super chat, man. If I'm constantly getting level two moose in my main zones and no big boys, what should I do? Also love the content. Keep it up. Uh, are you doing herd management, Brayden? If you're doing herd management and you're getting a lot of low levels, that just means that you haven't managed down enough of the map. So you likely need to go shoot down some more zones if you want to get, like, more big males to show up. Because the way herd management works is it's kind of like the more of your map you manage down to low levels, like, the more low levels you have on your map, the more often the remaining ones will respawn as bigger males. So, yeah, that, that just means that you need to manage down more of your map if you're still getting lots of twos. Thank you for the super chat once again, though. I really appreciate that. Okay, since we let it tick over to eight, I might need to go main menu before I can get the bears back into their zones. Because a lot of times, whenever you're grinding, if you let the time go to the very end of their drink time, whenever you reset it back to their drink time, it'll take them a little while to get back into their zones. But if you go to the main menu and then do a time reset, it's usually a little bit better. Like, they're usually more reliably in their zones. How's the recoil on the 300 without controlling it? It's ridiculous, Zachy. It's basically the 308. I'll, I'll do no recoil control at all on this. Now, keep in mind, I do have tier 3 recoil management perk. On, uh... In the shotgun category, but you already know where that is. This is without controlling it at all. 
Like, look at that. It only goes up that much. <laughs> this gun is insane. How many kills since the last great one? Uh, we got the last great one 80 kills ago. Um, after I got that great one in today's video, I did not shoot any more bears aside from like four to do the review part of the video. How do you herd manage? I'm new to hunting great ones. Okay, so herd management is essentially just leaving the low levels and shooting the high levels. So for example, you may notice that we're only shooting like eight bears. We're only shooting like eight different bears on our grind. We're just repeatedly shooting the same eight bears. And the reason is because all of the other bears on our map are level four or below. Aside from like a few that I just couldn't bother managing down. So the majority of our bears on the map are level four or lower. And because of that, these remaining eight bears respawn as sevens, eights, and nines much more often. And so that's essentially what herd management is. And the way that you get that to happen is you just repeatedly shoot them all until they spawn in as low levels. And when they spawn in as low levels, you just stop shooting them. I have a lot of guides on the channel that go into it a bit more in depth that are probably more helpful than my explanation here. I would recommend that if you want to learn more about it, check that out. Where did I shoot this bear? Did it go in the water? Oh, it totally went in the water, didn't it? No. Did I already claim it? Is there is there another bear here? Hey, there's definitely another bear here. There's definitely another bear here. They show the iron sights? Uh, yeah, I can do that. They're really good. They're good irons. Don't see it. Did I? Am I blind? There's the irons. They're pretty solid. I don't see that bear. No clue. Oh, rip, Zacky. Rip. Yeah, right now my diamond rate... This grind's diamond rate's a little bit lower than my last one. Uh, my last grind, the diamond rate was 17.5. This grind, I've had three diamonds in 81 kills. So not as good, but still a, an okay diamond rate. Gun sounds good. It does, Walker. It's got some punch to it. This gun's got some punch to it for sure. Hunter 11, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Oh my gosh, just got a Fable Two-Tone Typical Rack Moose. Let's go, man. Let's go. That's a good one. How are you hunting bears during the day? Uh, because I'm playing on the brand new early access update. So this is the new update that's going to be happening in four days. Um, myself and a few other content creators got a chance to show it off early. And in this update, they changed the drink time for bears. Bears drink in the daytime now. Okay, there's bears tucked in the back there. And we got that guy. Ooh, I actually pulled that off. How much is it going to cost? I believe they said $4.99. That milk? I know, right? You think you overmanaged the map? Maybe. I mean, wouldn't hurt to maybe shoot a couple more. See if it uh, gets better. I did that on one of my grinds a long time ago and it worked. Although I don't know if it's possible to really overmanage. Um, I don't know, Snowman. I don't know if that would be classed as a bug. I, I think that's happened. I think I've had that happen before once or twice, though. It's been a long time, though. How many shootable fallow should you have? So for fallow deer, I like to keep between 10 and 15 and then manage down the rest. 
I think for my grind, I have 11 shooter, shootable fallow deer. But I know quite a few people that have like 15. And like the thing... Oh, level 9. The thing about it is... The lower you shoot down the rest of the males on your map, like... For example, if you only stacked like twos and ones for your fallow deer grind, you'd be able to keep more shootables because those twos have much lower scores than the small threes would. But like I keep small threes as well, so I had to manage down more of the males to get the same effects as if I was only keeping twos. If that makes sense. Big Rack Albino Great One Bear. Let's go! <laughs> it's like that right now on screen for you on TikTok. It is? I don't even see my cursor. Neither does YouTube. You're right. It shows up as... It, it shows my mouse on TikTok. Why does TikTok do that? That's so weird. There's a diamond bear, finally. Yeah, I kind of figured, Eli. Kind of figured. Because, yeah, it's not like that on YouTube, and it's not like that for me, uh, Snowman. It must be something with the way TikTok captures the uh, the game screen. Boom. Whoa, TikTok's got a lot of weird stuff going on, actually. TikTok's not showing the top or bottom part of the crosshair what is up with the way tiktok captures the game that's so weird tiktok live's got some interesting stuff with their uh their software their streaming software is not that great i don't think it's not showing my crosshair either that's so strange TikTok's slacking on the uh, on the updates to their streaming software. Nothing there. Yeah, hopefully, Snowman. I'd love that. That'd be good. Oh gosh, I'm stuck. Oh gosh, I'm stuck. Is there a bear there? One bear. Okay, let's shoot the bear. Because now I need to fast travel again so I can get unstuck. You see the crosshair on YouTube? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I see my crosshair. And I can see, like, the binocular crosshair pro properly. But if I look at the TikTok feed, on TikTok it doesn't show my crosshair. It shows my mouse in place of the crosshair. And when I look in the binoculars, it doesn't show the top or bottom part of the crosshair. It's weird. What in TikTok streaming software makes it so like half of the stuff on screen doesn't show up? That's so weird. What if they added animated camos like in Call of Duty? I doubt they'll ever add animated camos because I think a lot of the hardcore, like, real-life hunters would probably rage if they did that. They'd probably freak out. Is this my new favorite gun? Yes, it definitely is. It is my new favorite gun easily. It is so good. Two more down. Let's 
Sam, what's up, dude? It's your boy, Sam. I did hear about that, Ronnie. I did hear about that. Thing is, it's not completely true. Because it's, it's very unlikely that TikTok would ever just get flat out banned. Like some other big company would buy it and, you know, run it. So it's very unlikely it would ever just like flat out get banned. Do the Rocky Mountain Elk also drink Ford 8? Uh, yes, they do. You think I'll get a great one after this run? Maybe. Back to the beginning of the time we go. Oh, same clips. I don't know why they didn't make Red Deer Class 7. It just feels so weird. If anything, I would have kept the Elk at Class 8 and then made Red Deer Class 7. I feel like that would have been... That would be that would have made more sense. Is Hirschfelden good for Fox? Not really, no. If you want like the best Fox map for Red Fox, Emerald Coast is the best Red Fox map easily. Best Gray Fox map is uh, definitely New England. Got a big rack melanistic albino piebald typical great one tree. Let's go, dude. Let's go. <laughs> the legend. Oh, yeah, exactly, Caleb. I've never been opposed to having two animals drinking at the same time. Provided it's not, like, a predatory animal drinking next to one that gets spooked by them. Like, I would not want mountain lions to drink at the same time as bears, for an example, you know. As long as they don't do stuff like that, I'm fine with animals drinking at the same time. In fact, I think for some it can be really good. Like, bear and elk drinking at the same time, I actually really like. No, you don't have to pay for the new drink zones. That's part of the free update. They, they would never make you pay for like a core thing like that. Diaboroa is really good. Your likes aren't going through? That's weird, Walker. I wonder why. That is odd, man. Oh no, Sam. <laughs> oh no. Feels bad, man. Have fun with that. <laughs> Have fun, Sam. Wait, I just got a call. I was going to say, I just saw another call pop up. I have one moose. It's a spruce typical. Ooh, that's a pretty moose. I don't have a spruce, no. Spruce is the only fur type I'm missing now for for the moose. I've got all the others, but not the spruce. Are you talking about the skin I've got on my rifle and binoculars, Walker? It's not a new one. That was with the New Year pack. It was a limited time pack that they put out for free for anybody that had an Apex Connect account and logged in within the time frame. Uh, so right now you cannot get it anymore, unfortunately. I'm assuming they'll probably bring them back every New Year's and stuff, though. I would hope at least. I would hope. Still stuck at over 3,000 kills into the Fallow Grind. Oof, man. That sucks, Cooper. That sucks. Is Hirschfelden good for pheasants? I actually really like it for pheasants. I know there's a lot of people that don't like it for pheasants, but... 
I think it's solid for them. Holy crap, wait. What? Wait, where did where did they come from? Did I delete one of their zones? No? Maybe? So just two random elk showing up? Okay. Those must have been solos that I shot at some point. What's the next animal that I want is a great one? Elk, for sure. Definitely elk. Doesn't matter to me if it's Rocky Elk or Roosevelt Elk. I just want one of the elk to get a great one. Hit him three times and it wasn't enough. Oh, oh gosh, he's glitching. Okay, he's dead. We got him. Yeah, it definitely would be nice if they bring back all of these different, like, special holiday packs. Uh, whenever that holiday comes around again. I'd like to see them bring back the Easter pack whenever it hits Easter. I'd like to see, of course, like... Did they have a 4th of July pack? I don't think they did. I can't remember them adding a 4th of July pack. So maybe that's something they could do in the future. Honestly, another cool thing would be instead of bringing the same one back, maybe bring back a new pack every year, but also make the old packs obtainable at the same time. That'd be kind of cool. It's honestly kind of crazy how many cosmetics we have in uh, in Call of the Wild now. We have so many. Ever since they added them, like I never would have thought we'd have this many cosmetics to pick from for our for our weapons and now our binoculars. Kind of crazy. Mythical. Five. Elk. One hundred bear kills on this grind. Let's go. Let's go. Oh man, Sam. Sounds like you had an eventful time figuring that out. To be honest, at the time of New Year, I was mad because my little bro restarted my game. Ooh, ouch, dude. Yeah, that's not fun. That's not fun. It's weird how holidays have cool names and then there's just the 4th of July. I know, right? Well, it's not really just the 4th of July. I mean, its real name is Independence Day, right? So it's not that it doesn't have a, a cooler name. It's just that people just call it the 4th of July. I wonder why. Most played game is Call of Duty, and I have 2,400 hours in only one year playing. Sheesh. Crazy, dude. All right, time for our uh, every few run check on this zone to see what we got here. All right, because we Americans tend to simplify things. True, Sam. True. True, true, true. We abbreviate, like, everything. <laughs> hey, Blaze, what's up? Seven and an eight. And another bear. That's great. Four bears here. Jeez. Four bears at this zone, eh? I hit the tree. Oh no, I hit the tree. Did I even get all four? Oh, I did. Okay. I did get all four, but I missed one of the shots because I hit the tree.
Crazy. But not great because not level 10. True. True. We need level 10s. Not level 6s and 4s. Come on, bears. Cooperate. With how good my bears are now after this update, though, I, I got a feeling we can grind out to a great one pretty quickly. Because, I mean, we killed 75 bears in our first hour today. If I keep that pace of getting, like, 70 to 80 an hour, you know, if I grind 10 hours, that's, like, seven to 800 kills. Do you know when the new map is coming? Unfortunately, no, we don't. I wish we did, but yeah, we don't have any idea right now when the new map will come along. All we really know is it's going to happen this year. My prediction is probably June because that's when they normally release a map. I mean, that's when uh, Emerald Coast released. Well, I would say probably around then probably around June yo what's up AE thank you for the 19 months man thank you for the 19 months oh there is another there Two more burrs down. How long, how long have I been on now? An hour and 30 minutes. We've been live for a little bit. What should I hunt? My red deer or my moose? I got 2,000 on moose and 6,600 on red deer. Uh, I would go for moose. I'd go for some moose. Oh, nice, Caitlin. Love to see it. Love to see it. <laughs> Those ones that we killed last time showed up here now. Elk being weird, bro. Elk being a little weird. I mean, if they're going to be here, though, I'm going to shoot them, you know? Because I might as well work towards more trophy elk. Uh, yes, there is Crocs on Australia. There is indeed. What's up, Sattler? How's it going? I think that in my opinion, moose is the hardest great one to grind because of how slow they die. They're definitely one of the tougher ones. The thing about moose is they are by far one of the toughest grinds to set up. Because of the fact that move, 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 I can't speak. The fact that, yeah, moose dies super quick. There's so many solo moose. So whenever you shoot a solo moose, it respawns at a new zone. So, like, it's very tough to manage down moose. Or even just to, like, grind them without herd managed. Hey, nine, let's go. Moose are tough. They're very tough. The only saving grace for Moose is that they do seem to be one of the more consistently short grinds. So, like, while you have the combination of them being tough to kill and also the fact that they move around a lot, you do have those things making it difficult, but then they do tend to give shorter grinds more often. Like, I see a lot of people getting Moose sub-500 with and without herd management. I see those sub 500 kill. Gr oh, Max, let's go. Sorry, Caitlin. I know you're. Uh, I know you're watching right now. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, they give the sub 500 kill grinds a lot more than a lot of other great ones. So that is their one saving grace.
Whilst you got something like a uh, whitetail deer that, for me personally, have been primarily around like a thousand to fifteen hundred kills on average, but they're super easy to kill. And then you got bears that it's really tough to get the grind going, but then once you get it going, it gets a lot better. Then you've got red deer that, for some reason, just I can't get a short grind on red deer for the life of me. I think I've only had like one or two grinds that I would class as a short grind. Bears being weird, man. Bears being a little weird. It's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm telling you, Caitlin, you just need to do like some light HM. Like doesn't even have to be crazy. Just do like some light HM. Like manage down like one quarter corner of the map that you don't like. And then uh, you're bound to get a max eventually. It's the best meme that Caitlyn has four great ones, but no max score diamond. I know, right? It's crazy. You have four ones, a few twos and threes on the map. Yeah, I know you got quite a few like ones and stuff. Oh, double mythicals and a five. Oh, and triple mythicals. <laughs> triple mythicals, huh? That's kind of wild. I'm going to wait for them to stop walking. Okay, those two stopped. There we go. If they stop walking, they go into that, like, uh, glitched pose where they're trying to stand up. Just like you just saw. But if they're walking, they don't, so they just run off immediately. So if I have four bears in a zone, I always make sure that at least two of them are standing completely still so that they'll take a little bit longer to run away. It can be pretty helpful in getting all of them. Jeez, just mythical everywhere. And then one lone level five right there. <laughs> or level five, he probably feels left out. Uh, maybe at some point, Chaz. Maybe at some point. We shall at some point, sir. I don't see our bears here, so let's just... Pop those elk. Got survivor's guilt something. Dead. Okay, both of them died over here. Ah, uh, you got gifted earlier today, hunting dude. It was like towards the beginning of the stream, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Well, what is that? What's oh, a bear? Where was he hiding? Where was that dude hiding? I'm actually a little confused. I didn't see him. Interesting. What do you think about the new drink time of Black Bear? I like it, but I do think they should have done a pop reset just to avoid confusion with people. Aside from that, I like it, though. What's the best way to get your pistol score up? Uh, just carry a pistol with you at all times, and any chance that you get to use it, use it. On the map. I mean, yeah, Johnny, it's definitely on the map. That's true. That's very true. Oh, man. Hey, Matthew. Uh, you missed a mythical blonde bear. Oh, we got a male here. And this, guys, is why we always check this lake right here. Because every once in a while, I get a straggler. Oh, nice clips. Nice. Yeah, I do wish that they gave us more levels. Is that bare feet I hear? No. Okay. It's not bare feet. 
Good to know. There's our dead bear. Nice, nice, nice. Oh yeah, recoil's not bad at all when you have the uh the recoil management perk, yeah. It's it's really manageable. It's not that much more than the 308. Which is actually kind of insane to think about. But it makes sense. I mean, ARs are built to handle recoil really well. There's a reason it's the most popular platform in the U.S. Because they just work. They're just good. There was one more bear here, but he did not show himself, I guess. We'll probably see him next run. J6, thank you for the six months, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Probably both, Statler. Probably both. The answer is probably yes. Seven and an eight. And you know that's great. True Schrader, that is a good uh that is a good tip there. Definitely. What's up? Been a while since I made a stream. Can't wait to be able to grind my bears in the daytime. Oh, you know, man, just grinding as I always do. And yeah, it's it's really nice. This is one of the best changes they've made to bears ever. It's so good. It's so good, man. Such a fantastic change. Nothing here? Huh? Well, guess they're not there this time around. Better question, do I hunt IRL? I do, yes. I have not hunted IRL in about seven years, though, because the last time I hunted IRL was when I was 18. Uh-oh. I like how our elk are actually popping up at the wrecked places right now. That's nice. They're actually popping up at the zones that we're hunting, which is cool. But my bears aren't showing up right now. They're being stubborn. Hopefully that means we got a great one. Because a lot of times when I have a great one, stuff gets a little inconsistent before it pops. At least that's what I've observed the uh, throughout my many great ones. It's turning into an elk right now? It is, yes, it is. What for? Um, I've hunted for blacktail deer. I've hunted for Roosevelt elk. I never had much success with it, but I did go hunting for those when I was a kid. <laughs> oh man well we found all our bears <laughs> they were all over here
Hey, we're all chilling at this lake. They're really liking this lake today. Bears during the day? Indeed, little gamer. This update, they changed the drink time of bears to 4 to 8. So whenever this goes live, everybody will have a chance to hunt these bears in the daytime. Patch goes out in four days, and then everybody can experience the daytime bears. Um, I do have to note that because they did not do a pop reset on bears, you do have to go into the old drink time and shoot all of your bears that are in the old drink time before the new respawns will start spawning at the new time. So that is the one downside to it. Uh, because I'm doing an early access stream on behalf of uh, the developers, uh, Kelby, myself and a bunch of other content creators were given early access to this update so that we could show off all the content to you guys. That way you can make the decision as to whether or not you want the new DLC or not. Where am I on the map? We're right here. Top left area. Oh, nice little gamer. Yeah, I like the leucistic sandbar deer. I think they look cool. That's a four. Man, it's so fun to have, like, the ability to shoot elk and bear at the same time. It's like if I don't have a bear here, I can always just shoot an elk or two. Gosh. Oh, gosh. I see a bear, too. Two bears. <laughs> folded him. Absolutely folded him. Now I can get unstuck. That was crazy, dude. He just folded. And that guy is having a fun time being a bugged elk. Jeez. What skin do I have on the new AR? Uh, this is one of the skins from the uh, New Year pack. I don't believe you can get the New Year pack anymore, unfortunately. So... Yeah, that poor thing got dropped. Oh, nice, snowman. Hey, Maddox, how's it going? Um, yes, I did see that, Schrader. I was curious what it is. Like, I didn't really pay too much, like, too much mind to it. More elk here. We're just getting these solo elk popping up everywhere. Oh, gosh, I accidentally clicked my scope off and it screwed me up. There we go. That's better. Um, no, not really, because I'm not getting enough hunting pressure to actually delete zones. Since we're using the blinds, we don't uh, delete zones very often. Are Elk the new great one? No, no. We don't know when we'll get a new great one or what it'll be. We're just shooting elk as well because, I mean, they're drinking at the same time as bears now with this update, so I might as well. Are there any negatives with early access? Uh, no, not really. Not really. Uh, it used to be that we couldn't keep any progress from it, but they've changed it recently to where now we do get to keep all the progress from early access. And so now there really isn't a negative to being a part of the early access. Because, I mean, it's literally just I get to do it a little bit early to make content for it. Like, I can still speak my mind on exactly how I feel about the update. I can still keep all my progress from early access. So, there really is no drawbacks to it.
Thank you, Lander. I'm glad that you enjoy the content. I want to skim with pots of gold on it. Then I'll put the gold medal from the Lunar New Year pack on the barrel. Yes. Yes, that'd be amazing. A little St. Patrick's pack. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. And like a, it could also have like a true gold medal skin. Oh my gosh, we need that. Because like the Lunar New Year gold is cool, right? But it's not as gold as I wanted. It's more of like, it's kind of more like a dark rose gold. It doesn't look very gold to me. And so I would like a traditional gold medal. Not medal, but metal, you know? I'd like that. Wow, we're getting a lot of low-level bears. Hopefully that means there's a great one on the map pushing down the respawn scores. Oh, that poor thing. Oh, that poor thing. What process do you go through to get the early stuff on your PC? Uh, so first of all, you have to be a partnered content creator in the Hunter's Discord, which I believe you have to have like 4,000 subs. You have to have like... Um... Oh! What? <laughs> what are you? Oh, you're so cool. Oh, you're so cool. That's such a cool elk. That's such a cool elk. He must have just respawned because I did not see him when I was shooting the bears. Oh my gosh. He's so wonky. I love it. Look at this elk, man. What a wonky dude. 438. I mean, he's nowhere near diamond, but that's a cool elk. That's such an awesome elk. I've never seen one like this. He's so weird. Oh, gosh, especially from that angle. Woo. I'm actually going to tax that. It's rare that I tax just a random gold elk, but that is, that's one of a kind right there. Uh, Parker, thank you for the, thank you for the gift on TikTok. Appreciate it. Holy. Uh, the rest of these drink zones right here are probably from that other elk. That was cool. He's so weird. The poor elk crying. Yeah, the, the poor elk's probably crying. Parker, thank you for another gift on TikTok. Appreciate it, man. Uh, yeah, where was I? I think we were talking about how you get early access. So yeah, first thing is you have to be a partnered creator and the requirements are like 4,000 subs. I think you have to post Call of the Wild content at least like a few videos every couple weeks or stream for a certain amount of hours every week. And then I think aside from that, it's just like you have to have like a good quality channel. Like you have to be producing good quality content. I think that's pretty much the only requirements. And then after that, you can submit applications. And then I think that they're closed at the moment. I don't think the applications are open. I could be wrong though. I have not looked recently. But last I had heard, they weren't really accepting applications. The streamer affiliates like 15 hours a month. Okay, so if you're an affiliate, you got to stream 15 hours a month. Okay. So I'm assuming partners is probably higher than that. But yeah, they don't make it easy to get into the partner program. They definitely don't. They aren't open? Okay, so yeah, applications are not open right now. So right now, nobody else can get into the partner program until they decide they want to open it again.
little level two. He's nervous. I wonder why. Why would you possibly be nervous aside from the dead elk right there that I forgot to claim? But come on, buddy. What's making you nervous? <laughs> I'd hate to be that elk. He's just watching everybody around him die. Can level eight bears be diamonds? Technically, I think it is possible, but nobody's ever done it. The way that Jaxie Beard said, said it is any animal in the game can be a diamond one level below max level. But for some of them, it is so rare that it's never happened or likely will never happen. So like, you know, the chances are you could get a diamond level eight bear, but it might be like a one in a billion chance. So yeah, like a lot of them, it's possible. It's just so rare it's never happened. Hey, Erica, how's it going? Predicting a minimum score great one in 100 kills. Could you imagine if I got a minimum scoring great one bear? I'd love that. That'd be so cool because I've already got a max scoring one. So if I could get a minimum scoring two, that'd be insane. Welcome back, Dis Daddy. How's it going? Father Discus returns. Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> Seven. Seven. It's a seven kind of day. Oh, hey. A six, too. I, I didn't see that guy. <laughs> too good. Nope. You're out of here. I screwed up two shots on that seven. That's crazy. I had to put a third into him. Uh, let's go pick that elk up now that we're over here. Uh, yes, Jonathan. I did have to shoot all of my bears to get them to switch over. If you watch today's video, I talk about it in there. Actually, no, I don't think I did talk about it in there. But I talked about it in a different video that you do have to shoot your bears if you want them to go to the new time. But only the bears that you shoot are going to swap to the new time. So you can be strategic with it if you want and only shoot the males. Uh, no, Robert, it's the same. The audio is the same as it's always been. Maybe it's YouTube being weird. But yeah, they didn't change anything audio wise. The same as it's always been. Oh, I did say something about it in today's vid? Okay. I know I said it in one of the vids. Jeez, guys, we've killed 130 bears today already. And we've only been shooting bears for an hour and 52 minutes or an hour and 53 minutes. So yeah, we're we're averaging 75 or more bears per hour right now. Those two respawned here again. Jeez. Oh, bear. Uh, the bear will stay longer than the elk, so I'm going to shoot the elk first. Honestly, shooting these elk as well kind of clears up some of the hunting pressure faster. So I do like this. I really like being able to hunt both at once. Oh, me too, Sam. Great one elk would be great. Literally. What map is this? This is Silver Ridge Peaks. There's a bear. Oh. 
elk right there. That poor elk, he keeps coming back and he's always nervous. That poor thing. Wait, actually, I think I mathed wrong. So first hour, we killed 75 bears. Okay, so hour two, we've only killed like 62 bears or something like that. We're still doing all right, though. First hour, we killed 75. Second hour, a little bit less. Probably because we've been shooting a few of the elk, too. And we've had a few bears be stubborn. Uh, yeah, Levi, four and under. I have a few that are like fives and sevens, though. Because I just couldn't bother managing down the last, like, four or five. Because I was already getting good enough results that I just didn't feel I needed to. Uh, always getting stuck in the tents, man. Always getting stuck in the freaking tents. So rough. <laughs> Couple bears there. go wait there's up why do you guys always do this every time I fast travel there was a bear we missed over here there's a bear we forgot to claim here oh no <laughs> great when this run 101 percent probably we'll see uh, no, Golf Kid. None of them got a reset. Yo, what's up, Terry? How you doing? Why do you elk, like, render in so late? Makes no sense. Bears don't do that. How many mule deer diamonds do I have? I think like six or seven of them. So I think I'll get a hundred great ones by the end of 2024. Um, if they release a new great one in 2024, yes, I definitely will. But I'm kind of just depending on them releasing at least one great one in 2024. If they release a great one this year, I for sure will get to a hundred because I'll be grinding the new great one like a ton. Yeah, if they had a new great one, for sure I'll hit 100 this year. Oh, yeah, for sure, Sam. It is strange. Dear Killing King, thank you for the super chat, man. What's good? What did I miss from my favorite YouTuber? Ah, uh, you missed a mythical blonde bear, a few diamonds, and a really wonky elk. And, of course, seeing this beautiful 300 Magnum in action. This thing's a beast. It was the third. The third bear. Thank you once again for the super chat, Deer Killing King. That's, uh, that's insane, man. Or Deer Killer King. Thank you so much, dude. Absolute legend. What do I think is the best rifle for Moose? Uh, this is going to be the best rifle for Moose easily. This will for sure be the best rifle for Moose now. 
But um, until this update drops on the 12th, the best rifle for Moose currently is the 300 bolt action. Or the 338 bolt action, whichever one you like more. Uh, yeah, Dis Daddy, I did. I did see that. Crazy looking. Oh, you should have seen the elk, dude. Uh, did you see the elk? I can't remember if you saw the elk we just got a little bit ago. We got a really weird looking elk. Uh, yeah, Chaz, it does. That shotgun comes with it as well as a single shot 4570. Right now, we're just checking for straggler bears, making sure that one of our males didn't end up over here. Because occasionally, I have seen my bears end up here. It's not very often, but occasionally they do. Hey, Game God, how's it going, man? Okay, I think we're good. I don't think we have anything here. I think we're good. What's my favorite AR? Oh, the 300. By far. By far. Uh, no, no. Because uh, bears are all solos, so shooting a female bear isn't going to, like, screw up your grind at all. And the only reason it screws it up for other grinds sometimes is because... You know, sometimes males and females will swap. But for bears, they're all a solo, so it doesn't even matter. Bye, elk. Oh yeah, if they if they ever like if they ever add in like more ultra rares, you know for a fact I'll grind for them. For sure. Definitely. I mean I, I don't know if I'd ever get them, but I'd grind for them a little bit. Uh yeah, Nicole, check technically it can. I mean, your chances of getting a great one from just, like, occasionally shooting a couple moose here and there is slim because you're not putting in, like, massive numbers of moose kills, but it is possible. Yeah, it, it's definitely possible. I know of a few people that have had that happen. Uh, no, Snowman, I don't think it was very good. I mean, back when we were only grinding two lakes for bears, like, we struggled a lot. We didn't really have any great ones hardly at all. We only got one great one doing it that way. And then once we switched it up, it got better, so. I do feel like only hunting two zones was holding me back, back then. Got like 300 plus moose, all of them gold and diamonds, still nothing. Sheesh. Seems plausible. Yo, what's up, Landon? How you doing? What's my longest grind? Um, It was actually my first bear grind. Back when I was only grinding two lakes, it took me 8,300 kills to get my first Great One Bear, which is a lot of kills, man. And I think like half of those kills were done before people really figured out how to hunt the bears effectively. And so it took me a long time to get my first few thousand bear kills because I was running around the whole map killing maybe 20 or 30 bears an hour. Nowhere near what we're doing now. Yeah, it was like, it was a very grueling grind. 
I'm so happy that we understand the bears more now. Because now the bears are very enjoyable. Of course. Always my tent, man. Always my tent. Always the tent. Okay, hunting pressure is fine, but we're so close that we'll just pop in the blind. Oh. <laughs> Folded him. Folded him. There's the bear over there. My gosh, Johnny. While watching this, I got a massive Mela Croc. It was a gold seven Mela. Dude, that is awesome. Let's go. That is super, super awesome. Does the blind affect hunting pressure? Yes, it does. It works the same as a sand would. All of the blinds and stands in the game have the same level of hunting pressure reduction. So it's really just a matter of like, pick your favorite. Hey, Lindsay, how's it going? Hey, Keith. Hope you're all doing great. Oh, there is one here. I should have known there's a bear here. Oh, it's a small male too. Okay, so now we got to back up and get it to render in. So whenever I get a bear in this zone, I pop a marker on it like that. And then I walk about 200 meters away and then walk back and he should be rendered in. In fact, I think last time he popped in before I got out of view of him. Where is he? Watch it be like a level one, because it was a very low weight estimate. It's a four, okay. Let's pop this guy. It's been a bit since we've had a bear there. Like maybe 200 kills? Maybe a little bit more? Last time I had a bear in this zone was the last grind. You're 10%. Oh no, Johnny. We will miss you. We'll see you later. Um, I say yes, Landon. I'd, I'd say go for it. Can someone please explain super rare, ultra rare, rare? What's the difference? So a rare is just a rare fur type. It's like a, an animal that has a rare fur type. Like, for example, if I find a bear that has the blonde fur type, that would be a rare fur type bear. Now, a super rare is if you get a diamond... A diamond scoring animal that has a rare fur type. An ultra rare is a great one that has a rare fur type. Currently, the only animal that can be an ultra rare is the white tail deer. White tail are the only one where you can get an ultra rare. I saw another bear over here right before we turned. I think. Maybe not. I thought I saw something. Oh, maybe it's that turkey. Maybe it was a turkey. Huh. All right. I guess there was not a uh, another bear over there. Oh, it definitely is, Sam. This is by far my new favorite gun. Pretty much for me, I love ARs so much that... The biggest AR in the game will probably end up being my favorite rifle. So, like, if they if they add, like, a 458 SOCOM AR or, like, a 300 Blackout AR or, like, a... Or not 300 Blackout, but a um, 50 Beowulf AR. Like, if they ever add anything like that, oh, it's going to be my favorite. Didn't we kill one more? Did I grab all three? I might have grabbed all three already. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, the 308 is really good. It is. And bear it is. Great one, Bear, in 20 kills. Holy crap, Robert. Holy. Wait, are you saying that you got a great one, Bear, in 20 kills? Or are you predicting that I'll get one in 20 kills? Yeah, I'm not sure, Snowman. Not sure.
Random question, but what's my favorite type of music or favorite songs? I listen to a lot of rap. Primarily, like, underground rap. Some mainstream rap. Why tell after bears? Maybe JC. We'll see. The thing is, I'm set up for moose, so I'd have to take everything down, and that's, like, the most boring part, so I probably wouldn't do it on stream. Ha <laughs> ha no match for the 300. You're predicting 47 bears? Maybe. Maybe. Would it be overkill for a bunny grind? Nothing is overkill for a bunny grind. They deserve it. We know this. They deserve it. Been a while since we've had a diamond, guys. Been a little bit. Do it on rev then? No. I refuse to do a rev whitetail grind anytime soon. I just don't like grinding rev that much. The, the animals just cover too much of the map. Like, they can drink in so many places that I just don't want to... I don't want to have to manage down the entire map of rev. You know? It's just like, whew, that's a lot. <laughs> yes, the best underground rapper, Ronnie. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, we need a map with beavers. Yes, we do. Or just beavers in general. I don't care if it's on a new map or an old map. Beavers would be awesome. Honestly, beavers would fit Leighton Lakes quite well. Could you imagine Leighton Lakes having some beavers? Or maybe even Mississippi. Are there beavers in Mississippi? Because if so, it would be perfect with it being like a swampy map. Six, five, six. Jeez, so many of our bears are over here. Messed up the last one. It's okay, we'll just pop him as he runs away. No, come back here. Uh, I'm not even going to shoot that. That's such a long trek to go recover him. No, thank you. These bears are no match, man. They're no match. Is there a way to play keyboard and mouse on Xbox? Do you know? Unfortunately, no. There isn't really a way to play it, as far as I know. I don't think you can use keyboard and mouse on console for this game. I don't believe it's compatible with it. I, I've heard some people say that you can work around the, like, incompatibility by getting, like, some kind of adapter or something, but I can't confirm whether that actually works. I don't play console, so I really don't know too much about how you would get that working. For a second, because of the angle, I thought that five was a great one. I kind of thought the same thing, Blaze. I, I didn't want to say anything, though, because, you know, it's embarrassing that I that I uh, mistook a five for a for a ten. But yeah, I kind of I kind of had the same the same thought. I was like, "Ooh, that's a chunky bear." And then it's just a 5. Do I know the highest scoring diamond fallow? So, fallow used to score a lot higher than they do now. They used to be able to score like in the high 270s. But nowadays the biggest one I've ever seen on the current like scoring for them is like 270. I've heard some people say that they can reach 271, but I've never actually seen one myself. I've never seen a picture of a 271. So I can't confirm if they do make it to 271. But I, I do have a couple 270 fallows.
Oh, nice, dude. Nice, nice. That's awesome. Yeah, it's about as big as they get. People in people in the YouTube chat are saying 270.49. And yeah, that's the biggest that I've got was 270.49. So that's probably their like their current known max, probably. Nothing there. Uh, we should probably main menu. Okay, so Drawn says that he's got a 270.72 fallow. So it looks like 270.72 is the biggest they can get then. For now, at least. You never know. There could be a one-off that pops up that's a 271. Never know. Why are the Mountain Lion drink zones still here? I reset the time and everything. <laughs> Silly mountain lions, you're not allowed to have drink zones near my bears. The bear zone. We'll come back for that later. I like starting at this lake. Are Willow Ptarmigan in Alaska and IRL? I don't know. I've never been to Alaska. And I've never really looked into it. I'm sure somebody in chat probably knows. Feel like this is rare? Oh, it's definitely rare, dude. That's a that's a massive fallow. Holy elk. Where's our bears, though? They must have all respawned at a couple of the other lakes. Got a decent bit of pressure here, so I'm just going to shoot one of the elk. We're going to pop that guy. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Run away, Elk. Gotta go walk your fish now. Goodbye, Crow. Okay. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Man, I swear. You guys are wild sometimes. Y'all and Chad are wild sometimes. Oh, nice drawn, nice. Holy bears. Six, seven, seven, six. What the? Oh my gosh. What is this, bro? <laughs> That's where all my bears were. And that's how we handle the black bears here. Four black bears. Four shots. And maybe one great one spawning from them, please. Please and thank you, Call of the Wild. One great one, please. Please. I beg of you, one great one. When does the update drop? Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> He's exploding. Uh, the update drops um, in four days. Dude, he floated. Why do you have to float? Let's reset the time, see if we can get him to come back over here. This stuff is very fun. <laughs> Indeed, it is. Okay, there, he popped up on the correct shore. Those poor scared elk. Nah, JC. I just gotta hunt my normal zones and that'll happen. Now that there's tons of elk to shoot, I can just pop elk whenever I need to clear pressure. I doubt it's a prehistoric map, Wyatt. They wouldn't do that, I don't think. I did see the teaser, though. Honestly, what I would say is if they... If that screenshot that the angler posted, it shows, like, a dinosaur in it, right? 
I would feel like that's probably a hint. Like maybe the area that the map is located in, maybe that has like a, a history of dinosaurs or something. Like uh, maybe it's famous for having lots of dinosaurs. That's kind of what I got out of it. Seeing that, I'm like, okay, so it's a place where like there's dinosaurs and stuff. Like maybe there's a famous like dinosaur museum or a dinosaur park or something. Or maybe it's a place where lots of dinosaurs were discovered. Like it's got to be something dinosaur related. But I don't think it would be like a prehistoric map. I don't think so. A prehistoric map in the angler would be kind of like, what's what's the word? Off-brand? Is that the word? Like off-brand for EW to add a unrealistic thing to their game that's somewhat grounded in realism aside from having like an arcade -y gameplay loop. Is there Gar in Call of the Wild the Angler? No, there isn't. Africa map, Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Could be. Could be. I'm hoping they'll reveal like a little bit more details soon. Probably a Congo map. That could be interesting. Okay, nothing there. The Congo has a history of dinosaur cryptid. Ooh, that could be cool. Congo would definitely be cool because Fishing Planet has a Congo map and it's really, really good. That'd be pretty sick. Two little bears, six and a seven, eh? And there's a five. Holy crap. Three bears just right here. Oh, no! He did the dodge and he did the weave and now he's free. Well, he's not free. He's going to die, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the end of him. R.I.P., sir. The elk can't bear to watch. Oh, gosh. Oh, I can't get away from the puns. I can't get away from the puns, man. I cannot escape the puns. You guys are just full of puns today. <laughs> oh, man. can barely watch. Oh my gosh, guys. You guys with the puns. You guys with the puns are just going crazy today. <laughs> I'm going to go crazy today with all those puns. <laughs> it's barely funny. Oh. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm going to go insane. I'm going to go insane with all these uh, bear puns. I can barely stand it. There's an eight. Man, it's been a while since we've had a diamond. We're on quite the dry streak right now. But like, I haven't even noticed it until now because I'm just having so much fun with this AR. <laughs> this thing's just so much fun to use. We're at 169 bear kills now. Emerald Coast best map? I agree. It's a great map. Definitely my favorite. Just have to grin and bear it, Crow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, barely able to watch. Guys, you're just going. He's trying his very best. It doesn't stop. It doesn't. There's just infinite bear puns out there to use. It's never going to stop. I am forever going to be uh, cursed by bear puns. Shh. 
Jeez. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. Oh my gosh, there's, there's so many bear puns. I'm not even going to read them all out at this point. There's just so many. There's so many of them in chat. I can't keep up. This is unbearable. Oh gosh, I did one without even trying. Now, the, the bear puns continue to follow. It's got a piebald white tail that wasn't a diamond. I'm sorry it wasn't a diamond, man. That's still nice to get a piebald, though. Piebalds are great. I love the piebalds. These are barely worth reading. Oh, God. I read it, so... Ah, <sighs> man. This has been a fun stream. We might hunt Fallow at some point. I'm still like really, really into the bears right now though. I've been really liking the bear hunting. Nothing. What's up, Ender? And thank you, dude. Thank you. Uh, it's been good. This update has been really fun. Aside from the inevitable confusion of people whenever they go for bears and they have to, like, shoot them out of their old zones to get them in the new zones. Aside from that, this is a really good update. Best gun? I think this is the best gun now. I think the new 300 AR is probably the best gun in the game. It is so good. It is like ridiculously controllable and powerful. And it's got five round magazines. It's semi-automatic. Like it's an insane powerhouse of a gun. I could definitely see it becoming like one of the more popular rifles among everyone. And I could also see it becoming like, I could see this weapon pack becoming like one of the necessity weapon packs that everybody's gonna recommend getting. Like whenever people ask me what DLCs, like what weapon packs they should get first, this is probably gonna be the one that I mention. Because the 10 gauge shotgun is one of the best shotguns in the game. This brand new 300 AR is definitely the best class 7 to 9 rifle in the game. And you combine like all the benefits of it. Like this weapon pack has two of the best guns in the game. One of the best shotguns and one of the best rifles. Uh, the 4570 single shot is good if you want to have a lightweight loadout. But aside from that, it's not as good. <laughs> oh man, Hugo. That one's a little bit of a stretch, but it's, it's good enough. I'll take it. Yeah, exactly. We no longer have to recommend Yukon Valley for the 300. Because before it was like a lot of people recommended getting Yukon as one of your first DLCs because it comes with the 300 Magnum bolt action. But now that we have an alternative to getting the 300 Magnum, we can just rep recommend this weapon pack now. Oh yeah, the modern rifle pack is good too, but it doesn't cover class 9 animals. 
That's the downside to that one. It's still one of my... Oh, that's a three. It's still going to be one of my top recommended weapon packs, but... I think this is going to be my number one most recommended now. Because, like... The Modern Rifle Pack cannot cover all classes. It's missing Class 9. But this weapon pack can cover all classes. Because you have the shotgun, which has bird shot. Actually, maybe it can't cover all classes. Hold up, hold on. What classes does the buckshot cover for 10 gauge? I might be wrong. Maybe it doesn't cover everything. I mean, it's still a great DLC, but... So, Buckshot covers class 4 to 7. Oh, yeah, you won't be able to cover 2 or 3. Okay. So, it doesn't cover class 2 and 3 with this DLC. But it covers everything else. So, yeah, I think... Yeah, Modern Rifle Pack and this one are probably going to be the two I recommend the most. Modern Rifle Pack and the High Caliber Hunting Pack or High Caliber Weapon Pack. Those are probably going to be the two best Weapon Pack DLCs to buy if you just want to get guns that'll cover everything and be really good. Uh, yes, Chase, they did. This update will release on the 12th. And then you'll be able to hunt the bears in the daytime as well. However, they did not do a population reset to bears. So you will have to go to the old time and kill all of your bears that are in like the old drink zones in order to get them in the new ones. That is the one downside to it. Two elk down. Bears are being a little stubborn now. They are not popping up in their zones as reliably. Makes me wonder if we've got a straggler somewhere that's kind of holding things up. Or maybe they're just all congregating to one lake. Super rare elk and 25 kills. <laughs> Could you imagine if I spawn a super rare elk while going for uh, bears? That'd be hilarious. That'd be such a scarecrow thing to do, man. Get a get a super rare that I'm not even grinding for. Instead of the animal that I'm actually grinding for. <sighs> Holy crap. There's two of my male bears here. What? I've never had two of them at this lake. I never get more than one male bear going here. I guess because my female bears are still drinking in the old time, there's maybe more room for the males to pop into this zone? That's crazy. I've never seen that before. I've never had two male bears here. That's why things were a little weird. That's why we weren't getting as many bears at the other lakes as we normally do. We had a couple down there that were just hiding. Yeah, no problem. Chase always happy to help, man. You like hunting the upland birds? Uh, sometimes, yeah. I definitely do enjoy hunting them from time to time, especially on Revon Tuli. My favorite map to hunt them. Oh, we got two bears. I'm gonna shoot these first, though. Not vitals. Okay, we need one more. One more shot into him. There we go. I, I did not want to place that there. Okay, okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna fast travel. <laughs> I 
One second, I gotta respond to my wife real quick. There we go. She's at the store and wanted to know if I needed anything. Have I ever done hunting speed runs? Like, uh, what do you mean by hunting speed run? Like trying to get a, a great one as fast as possible or something like that? Uh, cause I, I've done that before. I have done that before. When they released the great one fallow deer, I streamed 10 hours on the first day and ended up getting it. Got it first day, took 10 hours to do it, but I got it. Let's grab this bear right here, then we'll go pick up the elk and then we should be good to move to the next lake. Hey, Pastor, how's it going? Has Brobra become Father Frat yet? No, he hasn't yet. It's got to be close, though. I think it's pretty close. Soon, Brobra will be Papa Brobra. Uh, it's currently 1.17 p.m. for me, Tommy. Opinions on a boar, great one. I think it would be cool. It's not my first pick for a great one, but it would not be a bad one. Like, it could be pretty cool. Dude, we haven't had a nine in so long. Like, where's the nines? This is actually kind of crazy. We're on such an insanely long dry streak of no diamonds. We're at the point where I will be so happy just to see... A diamond bear. Oh gosh. He stood up, bro. He stood up as I shot. Oh no. What level is diamond feral goat? So diamond feral goats are level five diamonds. You can get a diamond level four feral goat as well, but it's really rare. Can I do a fallow grind? Uh, we'll do one at some point, yeah. We will do one at some point. I'm really into the bears right now, so that's why we're hunting bears. But yes, we'll finish our fallow grind at some point, too. Because we do have one going, it's just... I've been really into the bears now that they changed them to daytime. Welcome back, airplane dude. 656, six. where's the nines, man? Where's the nines? They don't exist for me anymore. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that sounds like typical uh, feral goats to me, man. Feral goats troll so much. They're one of the, like, most notorious trolls. Hello, ma'am. Let's get addle, please. Yep, yep, thank you. <laughs> Took her a little bit, but there she goes. Thank you, Zeke. I've been having a good day for sure. It's been a good day. A 
Nothing there. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, it's not bad for Moose, Hugo. It's pretty good for Moose. Dude, all the freaking elk. They're all respawning over here now. All low levels again. That's all we get. All low levels again. Yep, that's it. Uh, yeah, Caitlin, I don't have to swap saves or anything. This, this is another one of those early accesses where everything carries over. I think that's pretty much how they're going to do it from now on, is whenever we opt into the early access build, it uses our live save, so. Yeah, I don't have to swap anything over after this. And we get to keep all the progress. It's great. You'll love to see it. Uh, yes, if you're in multiplayer and you eliminate somebody's drink zone, it will be gone for them. Um, provided they're still in the server. If they leave the server before you delete it, then it won't affect their map. But if they're still in that server, yes, it will delete their zone. Do you think more people are going to do the bear grind after the update? I think so, yes. I do think they will. For sure. Because a lot of people just wanted them to be in the daytime. Because a lot of people hate grinding at night. I mean, I didn't love it. Hey, legendary, finally. Oh, it's a guaranteed. It's a guaranteed diamond. Oh my gosh, the dry streak is done. The dry streak is done. We finally got another nine to show up, and it's a guaranteed diamond. He's also at a really awful angle, so that's, that's fun. It's been like 100 kills. Close to 100 kills since our last diamond, I think. Maybe like 70. Maybe like 70 kills since the last diamond. There we go. We got him. Diamond bear down. That's our 190th kill as well. That's a max score 100%? Maybe. You never know, man. I've been tricked by them before. I've had some pretty insane estimates be pretty like... Close to the bottom of the estimate. What is this guy? Oh, yeah, it's a max score. You, you called it. It's a max score. <laughs> there we go. Is that our third max score of this grind? I think it is. True, Robert. True. T. <laughs> you definitely know sometimes it could be. There's definitely going to be one day where I shoot a nine, not realizing it's a brown fur type. That'd be crazy. That would be crazy, man. Yeah, he wasn't max weight. He was really close, though. He was like 1.5-ish off. Uh, the update is going to be in four days, Landon. The update is on the 12th. Like early in the morning on the 12th. Later, fishy. Just got a brown diamond black bear. Let's go. Nice, Mr. Oats. Should I wait till level 60 to grind? I would recommend waiting till you get higher level to grind. Um, not because like a higher level is required to grind, but more of just because when you're a lower level, it's much better to like just enjoy experiencing the game in other ways. Because grinding can get tiring. It can it can get you burnt out. Like you can get burned out on the game if you grind too much. Um, obviously for me, it's hard for me to get burnt out on it because it makes it a lot easier when you're making content on it because then I can chat with all of you guys and I'm doing it for more than just myself. I'm doing it for you guys as well, right? 
But yeah, I would not recommend grinding at a super low level because it can take a lot out a lot of fun out of learning the game. So I would recommend early on before you hit max level, uh, just uh just have fun. Just hunt whatever feels fun. Do whatever feels fun in the game. And then like once you understand a lot of the game's mechanics and stuff, maybe start venturing off into doing grinds here and there. That's kind of how I did it. At first, like maybe my first few hundred hours playing the game, I spent the majority of my time just hunting around, hunting random things, just hunting kind of whatever I felt like hunting that day. And then as I got more into the game, I had been playing for longer, I started venturing off into some more basic grinds, you know, like I'd try to grind for a diamond red deer or something like that. And then slowly it became like I'd grind for specific rare fur types. And then they released the great ones and then I started grinding for great ones too in like a more casual manner. And then nowadays I'm like a hardcore grinder for everything. Yeah, I definitely recommend, uh, you know, just enjoying the other parts of the game first. But hey, at the end of the day, do whatever you really want to do. Cooper, thank you for the 10 months. Really appreciate it. 10 months. By the way, I got a super rare brown black bear last night. Shot it from nearly 400 meters quartering away because I didn't know it was a rare. Max weight, 2380. That's insane, Cooper. That's crazy. I bet you freaked out when you picked it up and you were like, oh, I could have messed that up. Man. I'm glad the streams have been able to help you out, Uncle Nate. That's awesome, man. I hope you've been feeling better. But I'm glad the streams have been able to help you out a little bit. A three and a four. Man, what's up with all the low levels? So many low levels, man. So many low levels. We're popping threes and fours like crazy recently. Oh, nice, Hana. That's one of my favorite videos I've ever made. I, I love that video. That's one of the only times in like my entire time being a YouTuber where... I made a video and like it was one of my favorite videos I ever made and then it actually ended up like performing very well as well. Yeah, that that video with the uh, elk and whitetail great one on the map at the same time is one of my favorite videos I've ever made. It was a lot of fun to do as well. It was a lot of fun to make. It's a Z mythical. Did I say elk? I meant moose. Did I say elk? <laughs> there we go. Six and a seven. That's what I was thinking. My brain's thinking of elk and bear right now because we're shooting elk and bear. But yeah, I meant moose. The moose and whitetail video. Um, just type it again in chat, uh, somebody. Um, I don't feel like tabbing out and scrolling up at the moment. Uh, if you want to, you can just copy paste it. Crazy how both of them are on the same map. Yeah, it's one of those things where, like, really anybody can do it if you if you want to go through the time of setting up two grinds. Like, I had done so many different whitetail grinds in the past that after we set up for moose and we got that moose to spawn, like, I still had all my zones herd managed down for whitetail, and I had a screenshot of where my tents were before I set up for moose. So I just referenced the screenshot, set up for whitetail again, and grind it until I got a whitetail great one to show up as well. It was a lot of fun. I think I'll definitely try something similar in the future again. I think what I want to do next is I want to get 
like three great ones on the ma on three different maps at the same time and then shoot them all at once. Maybe they bounce out. Yeah, they're being a little weird, Cooper. But the thing is, like, I'm still getting the same number of bears. It's just some of them are being slow and others are being really low levels. And we've got, like, we had two bears show up at this lake. I'm wondering if we got another one right here. Let me go check. If I get a great one, I'm going to shoot it with one of the new guns, Coda. No, Chaz, I'm not ever going to do that. <laughs> She's not even three years old. She doesn't even know how to, like, use a mouse. <laughs> that wouldn't work. Could it be because a great one will spawn soon? I mean, maybe. We have had our map be really weird before whenever a great one was on the map. So it's possible. There's a six and a seven. Holy elk, man. The elk love this lake. There's another bear. The elk are loving this lake right here. Maybe because all the elk have spawned here, it's like uh, making the bear spawns act weird. We'll just pop all of those elk and uh, see if that changes anything. Yeah, for sure, Caitlin. For sure. The elk are like, ah, oh, it's just a bear, man. Meanwhile, the bears are like, dude, these mountain lions are going to murder me. I need to go away now. I need to run. Excuse me? Hush? Shush. I wouldn't worry about it too much, Pastor. It doesn't matter if you're a member or not. You're still supporting the stream just by watching. Believe it or not, hitting the like button, leaving comments on videos, they help out just as much as donations do or becoming members. It all helps equally. So sick of homework. Yeah, man. I, I always hated school as well when I was a kid. But it's, a, it's an important part of life. It really is. Imagine if there was a map in the Angler from Silver Ridge Peaks because there's so many lakes. Yeah, that could be interesting. I've always wondered if they're ever going to do any crossover. Like, I've always wondered if we'll get any hunter maps in the Angler. I can't remember if they've ever talked about that. Like, have they ever answered the question as to whether or not we'll get one of those? Oh no, it's floating! They're always floating. Does the game ever get boring? Ah uh, yeah, from time to time. Mainly when we go a long time without a new update. Oh, gotcha, Caitlin. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, they couldn't port it over, but they could, like, replicate it from scratch. So, yeah. So, I guess it's not out of the question that they could put one of the, the hunter maps into the angler at some point. But it's uh, nothing guaranteed, essentially. Nothing guaranteed, but it's also not something they've said no to. 
I'd love to see something like that in the future. I think it'd be really cool if we could get Leighton Lakes in the Angler. Because Leighton Lakes has so much water. If they could replicate Leighton and put it in there, it'd be great. Where's my freaking bears, man? Where's my bears? Uh, you just shoot them, LG. Just, uh, whenever this update drops, just go through at the old drink time. Go through at the old drink time and shoot all of the bears that you want to have at the new drink time. Only shoot the ones that you want at the new drink time. Yeah, no problem, LG. Happy to help as always. Nothing there. It's just so weird. Where's all of our, our bears? They're being so inconsistently strange. Uh, we just main menued recently, Michaela. Like, it was like maybe one run ago that I main menued. There's a bear there. By medium. It's a bear there. It's a there bear. Just one bear, though. No, come back here. That's one that we shot earlier. Because he's got low HP. How much experience is level 60? Uh, 293,384 is what it says. There, let's get all these elk out of here. Maybe that's holding them back. Because it wasn't until all these elk started, like, spawning in different areas that the bears are being weird. I'm not saying that's the problem. It's just, like, it, it could just be a coincidence, but... Gotta test it. Gotta see. Get all those elk out of here. There's a bear of five. I gotta have a bunch of bears hiding somewhere. Or just being late. Oh, there we go. Well, that was a legendary. <laughs> There's all of our bears. They were just being late. <laughs> and one was a nine. Let's go. Thank you, Goober. I appreciate that, man. Appreciate the kind words, sir. How you doing, Cooper? How you doing? What do you think of the updates so far, Cooper? From what you've seen during early access? I'm not sure how much content you've watched on it today, but uh, what you think of it so far? Thought it was cinnamon? No, it wasn't cinnamon. It was just the lighting. It was just the lighting. Oh, it's a bad troll. Oh, gosh. And I liver shot it. <laughs> that was a rough troll. What's the new bear drink time? Four to eight. Seven. 
Okay, so we've had one, two, three, four, five bears. This is number six. Okay. So I'm only missing two bears then. And I'm assuming they're going to be at a couple of the other zones. I think all our bears are here. I think they are. Oh. Oh. Oh no, I was answering somebody named Goober and I was also answering you, Cooper. I was asking you how you've seen or like what you thought of the uh, the update so far. And then I was responding to somebody on TikTok as well. Really excited for the new pack and everything. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, man. Also, that typo is hilarious. I want a cinnamon or blind bear so bad. I know you probably meant blonde, but blind bear, that's hilarious. Well, I think our bear respawns are fine. Yeah, I think we're good. They were just being a little weird. Smoked. Smoked them. What's up, Hayes? How you doing? Somehow forgot you streamed to three platforms. Yeah, I'm not streaming to Twitch today. Because uh, whenever I stream to TikTok, I can't stream to YouTube and Twitch and TikTok. Or else it is too much for my CPU. Because, like, streaming to three platforms while playing a game at all at the same time, it's intensive on your system if you run a one PC setup like I do. And so I'm only on TikTok and YouTube today. Essentially, I have to pick between TikTok and Twitch whenever I go live on two channels. If I could go live on, like, four different platforms at once, I would, but I'd have to get a uh, dual PC setup to really do that effectively. XD sniping. Thank you for the super chat, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. After 1,500 kills, I got a fabled Mocha Irish Elk Rack. Let's go. That's an awesome combo. That's an awesome combo. Love me some fabled Mocha. Congrats, dude. Congrats. And thank you for the super chat once again. Ah. We gotta hit him again. This is the one that we hit last time. Ah, man, we missed. Was hoping we'd get him that time, but no. Yes, the Fabled Mocha are incredible. It's such a pretty fur type. I really want to go back to Fallow and get another Fabled Mocha, because I only have one Fabled Mocha, and it's a Blade Rack. I'd love to get any other Fabled Mocha if I could. But, like, we've gone back to try and get a Fabled Mocha, like, three or four different times now and not got another one. Maybe the next one would be our would be our time, though. <laughs> Dear Killing King, thank you for the super chat again, man. Thank you. I got a... Turek Whitetail Deer. I'm assuming you were going to type Typical Rack. I'm assuming that's what you are trying to type. Congrats, dude. That's awesome. Thank you for the super chat once again. Is this early access? Yes, this is early access to the new update. Full release will be on the 12th of this month, so four days from now. Yeah, flex for sure. I need me a typical rack, man. I need a typical rack whitetail someday. I need one. But I don't gots one. All right, everybody. I'm going to take a quick break. So we will be back in like 25 to 30 minutes. I need to go get some food real quick. And uh, also just take a break to stretch, walk around a bit, get the blood flowing. And uh, then we'll be back with the rest of the stream. So hang tight, guys.
Yo, 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 we're back. Lunch break is done. I have been fedeth. I have been fedeth. And I think now we're going to shoot these bears right here and then go to fallow deer. Because I saw a lot of people requesting more fallow deer. Let's go ahead and pop these. There we go. Yep, I'm back. Indeed, I'm back. Level six. Two hundred and eighteen bear kills, which means we've killed two hundred and fourteen of those in this stream. Let's go. Let's go, man. We're kind of popping off with the bears today. You love to see it. All right, let's swap over to Fallow, because I saw quite a few of you requesting Fallow earlier. Our Fallow grind's currently at four hundred or 514 kills, so maybe we'll be able to pop a great one Fallow today. The bear didn't want to give us a short grind, but uh, maybe the Fallow will give us a short grind. Yo, what's up, Jenna? How's it going? Oh, this looks strange. Bears of the day. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, man. Okay, had to double check my title to make sure that I didn't, like, specify that I was hunting bears or something. What time do we need for Fallow again? I think it's 12. Yeah, 12. Please do a bow hunt. Uh, maybe for a video we'll do a bow hunt. I don't like using bows on stream because it's just too slow. A lot of people don't like watching um, slower paced streams in the Hunter. At least that's been my experience. People tend to enjoy the faster paced stuff more in a live environment. But with a video, I can just cut out all the, bo the boring parts of bow hunting. Okay, that setup's all ready to go. Don't need that in there. Actually, I've got that in there because I use this for kangaroos as well. That's right. Let's switch up the uh, the camo a little bit. What's up, Lums? How's it going? Rock Chalk, how's it going, man? How does the new 300 feel? It is the best gun in the game. That's the, the quick of it. It's the best gun in the game. They really outdid themselves with this one, man. It's a, it's a insane rifle. Also, I don't know why we didn't get these camos before, but look, the Lunar New Year paint and uh, Lunar or regular New Year. We have two different camos that weren't normally in the pack. I don't know if this is going to come with this update or if it's some, something that just is in the early access for some reason, but that's kind of cool. A couple skins we didn't have before. That looks sick. Ooh, that looks good too, though. I really like this as well, though. Like... Yeah, let's just go with that. I kind of like that. Ooh, that's clean. That's really clean. No shootables there. Is it good if I have 15 5 mediums and I started grinding three weeks ago? 600 kills? Yeah, that's pretty good, man. That's pretty good for sure. That is definitely good. Hello, little piggies. When you put the rusty metal on the 300 <laughs> SMH. Hey, it looked incredible. What do you mean? It looked really good. <laughs> it looked so, it looked cool. I liked it. Dear Killing King, thank you for the super chat again, man. What is the best gun in the game? Well, 
After this update, the 300 AR will definitely be the best gun in the game. Because this thing is just ridiculous. Level 4 there. These poor fallow deer are going to be so scared of everybody that has this rifle. It's just, it's R.I.P. Hey, Fred, what's up? Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. You mess up a shot like I just did. Just start spraying and they're dead. What is my shortest grind ever? So my shortest grind ever was a 28 kill moose grind. Quite the contrast from my longest grind ever, as my longest grind ever was the 8300 kill bear grind. There we go, we use the 308 for that one. Since it was our diamond, or potential diamond, it was a five. And when accuracy should be fixed, yes, it should be fixed. All the weapons should have their accuracy fixed. Man, I, I should maybe do a video on that. See if it really is fixed. How do I shoot so accurately? I use mouse and keyboard, and I use a very low sensitivity. Like right now, I'm going to move my mouse one foot across my desk. I only do two rotations with one full movement across my desk. Ah, the troll, no. And then the other way that I keep the accuracy up to a, a higher level is I have tier three of the recoil management perk. It's in the shotgun perks category and it applies to all weapons and it helps quite a bit with uh, controlling recoil, which in turn helps your accuracy. But the biggest thing is I'm just on PC with keyboard and mouse and a lower sensitivity. That's the, the biggest factor. And the fact that I've done this motion of, you know, correcting the recoil and moving to the next animal hundreds of thousands of times at this point. I've killed over 100k animals in Great One Grinds alone. And in most cases, like, you know, every time I take a shot, I'm quickly flicking to the next animal to try and shoot the second one in the zone. So it's probably just a lot of repetition as well. The repetition probably has a lot to do with how I'm able to correct my aim. Well, we're pretty far into the stream now, so I think I'm going to go ahead and crack a cold one open. If I could find my bottle opener. There it is. All right, we're good. What's my best great one that I have? Well, it probably depends. Because what I consider to be my best great one, somebody else might not consider to be my best great one. Because a lot of it is subjective. Everybody's got their favorites when it comes to the Great One combinations. So for me, my personal favorite Great One I've ever killed. There's probably three of them I can think of that I would consider to be my favorites. The Fabled Two-Tone Big Rack Moose. My 50-50 Rack Whitetail that was half the typical rack and half a very squished and mangled... Uh, version of the Kinsko Rack Antlers. And then the third being my fabled Mocha Blade Rack Fallow Deer. And then an honorable mention that is also probably my rarest Great One is the 50-50 Rack Fabled Oak Great One Moose. We know it's the common quad paddle. Oh, de definitely, definitely. Yeah, common quad paddle for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Freaking common quad paddles, man. Freaking common quad paddles. The bane of my existence.
When is the pack out? The pack will be out in four days. The 12th of the month. True, it is now a very rare great one because you can't get the commons anymore. True. I never see the quad paddle anymore. Is that just me? I definitely see it less than the others. Like, uh, I haven't had a quad paddle since those common quad paddles when they first released the Great One Moose. Like, all mine after that have been spider rack, typical rack, big rack, or 50-50 rack. Mainly spider rack. I swear to God, all I get is spider racks. <laughs> I think the spider X also the smallest one, so it makes sense that that's the one I get the most. Yeah, it takes a bit of time to learn how to grind great ones, uh, Fred. It definitely does. I mean, it took me a long time. Ooh, that's a diamond. It took me a very long time to get my first great one. And then after I got my first one, the ones following were not nearly as difficult to get for me. And then now at this point, because I've been doing it for so long, it's uh, it's not super difficult at all. A lot of it just comes down to, you know, understanding the things you need to do to help make your grinds go better. There we go. Uh, refresh the page if you're having some lag, Samuel. A lot of times refreshing YouTube uh, fixes that. Oh, that's still an awesome super rare though, Fred. Like, even the mission super rare from Medved is awesome. Like, it's such a cool super rare. Super rares are really tough to get. They're like 10 times harder to get than a great one. They're so difficult. Yeah, Dis Daddy, we're still live, man. Still live. I just got off of my, like, 25-minute lunch break. And so, yeah, we're back at it again. This time with Fallow Deer. Um, maybe try refreshing the page, Gene. Because that's, that's another YouTube problem that happens sometimes. Sometimes you'll hear, like, a crackling in the audio. And so, yeah, I would try refreshing. Because that is another common YouTube issue. Wonder when YouTube's ever gonna iron out those little those little bugs. Because there's a lot of audio issues and lag issues on YouTube with streams that are not like that are not like uh on the streamer. Like the streamer can't really do anything about them because they're a YouTube thing. Really hope they iron that type of stuff out sooner than later, you know? Dude, I just butt shot him and he died. Butt shots or kill shots, guys? Confirmed. Oh, no worries, Gene. No worries. Nothing wrong with, uh, with asking questions and stuff. Oh, oh, we didn't butt shot it. We hit everything. <laughs> that makes more sense. That that makes a lot more sense, man. Did I can't did, did I claim both of them? I didn't even hit him. What? I didn't even hit him. What? How? That makes no sense. I, I could have swore that I that I hit him. Maybe I just wasn't paying enough attention. Oh, it did fix it? Awesome. Love to hear it. Yeah, a lot of times when uh when YouTube has like some crackling or weird audio issues, usually a, a quick refresh will fix it. Thankfully. Hey, G-Man. We've had some good stuff today. Yeah, we had, I think, three max scoring diamond bears. We had a mythical blonde bear that was right next to a level nine. Kind of made me sad that it wasn't the level nine.
And then we've had one diamond fallow so far. It's been a solid day. Decent bit of trophies popping up. Oh, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Uh, would you be able to, like, tell me how to say it then? Because I'm not sure. I'm not super great with uh, with names. Sup, Dylan? Nice. Two forty three, man, so close. Oh, Genie. Is that how it is? Is that how I pronounce it? Genie? That makes sense. That makes sense. I don't know why I didn't think of that as being an option. Uh, yo, T Sports, we've had some good trophies. We had a mythical blonde bear that was standing right next to a diamond. <laughs> so that was, uh, it was sad that it wasn't, it's sad that it wasn't the diamond, but it was still really beautiful rare. And then we've had a few diamonds as well on bears and one diamond on the fallow deer. This 300 is just a monster. Dear Killing King, thank you. Or Dear Killer King, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Gotta go to class. How much longer will the stream be? Because I might sneak in an AirPod. <laughs> I have no clue how long the stream is going to be. I am probably going to go for at least another hour. But I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. But hey, don't do anything that's going to get you in trouble, man. How's the 4570? Uh, it's not super great, unfortunately. Like, it has a longer range than the lever action, which is a little weird. It doesn't make sense to me that it's got a longer range than the lever action when the lever action has a full-length rifle barrel. Um, it, it goes clear out to 200 meters on the handgun, but you can only zero to 150 on the rifle. And the buff they did to 4570, the only thing that it did was increase the velocity to make it so it has less bullet drop. So, it's not a super insane handgun. However, it does only weigh one unit, so it can be really good for, like, lightweight loadouts. That's going to be its strong point, is if you want to carry, like, let's say you want to carry a tent, and you want to carry, a like, a, a blind with you at the same time. You could do that, and then just do the 243 handgun, the 22 handgun, and the brand new 4570 handgun. So, that's probably its strong point. Um, the shotgun is a lot better. The shotgun, the 10-gauge semi-auto shotgun, probably going to be the best shotgun in the game. Or at least one of the best. Um, and as far as the 300 AR goes, it's just a monster. It is just a monster of a rifle. How do you start a grind? Ah, you just go out. At the drink time of the animal you want to grind, search all of the water where you could potentially find drink zones for them, and start hunting them. Set up tents in convenient locations to where you can access a bunch of the zones from it. Um, set up stands at your zones as well so you can keep the hunting pressure down. And then start shooting, you know? I do have a few guides on the channel that can help you out with like uh, getting grind started. So if you're still wanting more more info, more help with it, I would check out some of those. I've got a playlist that has all my guides in it. So if you go to the playlist, there will be one that's like uh, called like Call the Wild Guides or something like that. But yeah, it's relatively easy to get a grind started. Because you don't have to take the grind to the extreme that I'm at right now. Like, 
you can do like many different ways of grinding. All right, Genie. That was a big four crow. It was. I was kind of thinking that too. I was like, am I going to ruin a diamond here? You know, I'll be smart on this one right here, Robert. I'll shoot this one with the 308. There we go. <laughs> Okay, it was not a diamond. We're good. How many hours do I have? Ooh, let me look. So my main account has 6,558 hours. And then I've got about 700 hours between all of my... Um, secondary accounts that I do challenges on like I have separate accounts for doing the great one before level 60 challenge and the no DLC challenge and stuff like that and so all in all I probably have like 7250 but something to remember is I I do call the wild content for a living so a lot of those hours are because of that Is it up on console? Uh, no. The update's not released to anybody at the moment, aside from a few content creators, because this is the early access for this update. Full release is going to be the 12th, so four days from now. What's up, Quate? Uh, you missed a level 8 blonde black bear. That's the best thing that we've got today. By far. Yeah, that's a new one. Oh, wrong zeroing distance. Ah, no, I'm not going to go collect that thing. It ran too far. Yeah, Lonely Deer, we did. We switched to the Fallow because there was a lot of people requesting them earlier. So I figured we might as well do a little bit. Might as well do a little bit of fallow hunting. The rares have been cracked these last two grinds. They really have. Like, uh, I've I've been notorious for having bad luck with the amount of rares that I get. And yeah, they've been popping a lot recently. With the bears in particular. I've been getting bear rares very often. Rare what, Miles? <laughs> What'd you get? On oh, a weird zone, you almost spooked him. What what type of rare did you find? What type did you find, man? Nothing. Level 7 bear, what should I kill it with? Um, if you have the 338 or the 300 on you, then I would use one of those. Or the 7 millimeter. All three of those are great. All of those are really good. Ah, uh, Christina, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. 920 kills into a moose grind number 3. Only rare was my albino super. I mean, you can't really complain if your only rare was an albino super rare disc daddy. Like, that's that's pretty crazy, man. And I zeroed incorrectly again. I just zeroed for 75. I'm lucky I killed it. Oh, no, Joshua. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Sorry to hear that, my dude. That's pretty big. Probably not the diamond rack for fours, though.
Okay, I gotta scroll back up. What? Wait, what rare was it? Oh, it was a pie fallow. Okay. I, I was gonna say, I'm confused as to what your what the rare even was. <laughs> nice, dude. That's awesome. Um, it shouldn't affect it too bad, Aiden. Just make sure that you don't shoot any bucks before it. Like, uh, go to the main menu, then go in and just shoot that doe, then go to the main menu again, so hopefully it'll respawn. Uh, it'll get its respawn without mixing in with the respawns for the bucks. But you should be fine to shoot it. I left my albino doe as a pet when I got one on that grind. Chip, what's up, dude? It's Mr. Chip in the building. Ooh, that's a big four. The big fours are popping up everywhere. Oh, I'm doing great, Chip. We got a mythical blonde black bear today. And it was standing next to a diamond. <laughs> it was like the most bittersweet moment because it was like, that is a massive, massive blonde bear. But it's standing next to a nine. Why couldn't it have been the nine? Yeah, it's been solid. Got lots of uh, max scoring bears right in front of Caitlyn. So there's that as well. Uh, yes, this is the new 300, Easton. This is an early access look at the new update. Lots of cool stuff. Can you bear grind on Silver Ridge? Yes, that's, uh, that's where I've been grinding my bears. It's really good for them. Uh, the new DLC comes out in four days, Jacob. The 12th is the the release date for the brand new weapon pack. Uh, Caitlin's one of my friends and moderators, uh, Walker. How do my respawns work? What do you mean, how do my respawns work? Like, are you saying that you're having trouble getting the respawns to come back? Or are you just asking, like, how respawns work in general? If that's the question, nobody really knows exactly how respawns work. All we know is it seems that they respawn somewhere and then come back to their zone. We don't really know too much about the actual respawn system. Uh, yes, Tyler. Everything that we have access to in this early access is released on the 12th. The only thing that you'll have to pay for is the weapon pack. Everything else will be a free update. Uh, yes, I do have a diamond warthog. Been on the channel for three years and never once has the pinned message work. Yeah, the pinned message never gets read, hardly. Hey, Levi, how's it going? If I kill a huge level three whitetail deer, could it respawn as a level one? Uh, yes, it totally could. It totally could. I'm lurking. <laughs> Hey, you, you know how it is. You know, we just shoot those max scoring bears like it's nothing. Ooh. Oh, he's a beauty. That's a beauty right there. You know what? I think it's time we shoot a diamond with uh, the new shotgun. Let's shoot this diamond with the new shotgun. Now, if I am not mistaken... I believe I have to use Buckshot, I think. I think I have to use Buckshot on him.
Yeah, I think Buckshot is what I have to use. Yep, Buckshot is the only thing I can use on him. Oh, no. Well, this is going to be fun, guys. Huh, let's get her done. Go take it down. No, they did not change the uh, Red Deer class. Oh, the 300 is the best gun in the game, Flanky. It's phenomenal. It's so good. So, so good. You know, I'm tempted to try something. Don't do this at home, kids. I'm a trained professional. Not, well, not really, but I'm the closest thing there is to a trained professional. Turn just a little bit, bro. No way he doesn't turn. No way he doesn't turn. Your herd's over there. Your herd's over there. What? Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, we're going to try that again. I'm just going to keep trying until it works. Because I think that'll be hilarious if we can make it work. If I can get this to work, it'll be the best thing ever. Hey, I'm a trained professional, Johnny. That was the deer's fault. <laughs> that was the deer's fault, man. He, he was being weird. That, that deer's a weirdo. Like, what type of deer goes away from his herd like that? Come on. He's the only one not here. He's the only one not here. Oh, he's trolling me. He's freaking trolling me at this point. He's definitely trolling me. Tot totally a trained professional. Trained for two minutes. Hey, now. Hey, now. That still makes me a trained professional. Oh, 100% Robert. If I can pull it off. <laughs> Come on. There he is. All right. He's nervous. Wonder why. <laughs> the troll is trolling. Hey, he's he's, he's definitely a diamond. He's, he's definitely not a troll. Oh, they killed my tent. Attempt number three. I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. You ready for this? We're going to put this up higher. Yeah, this is how we do it. This is how we do it, guys. This is the way. I think we figured it out. Third time's the charm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Third time's the charm. See, chat knows. You guys know. Now, let's pop to the main menu so they're not spooked anymore. Yeah, I'm a trained professional, Johnny. 100%. You got it this time? We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Please be at the zone so I don't have to go back and reset again. Just you, huh? Just you, huh, bro? You think I'm going to mess it up, Johnny? Well, considering I've never shot the buckshot from this 10 gauge, it could happen. You're, you're not wrong. It very well could happen. Pro's better at doing this to a great one than dimes. Hey, you're not wrong. We've done some crazy stuff with great ones and never messed one up with the crazy shots. But I have messed up diamonds doing crazy stuff like this. Okay, well, one herd is here. Just get that guy out of the way. Nice, Genie. That's awesome. I just got my second great one. Bear tonight, 38 kills after the last one. Let's go, Wolf. That's awesome. Congrats, man. Let's see. Can we make this work? I will make this work, man. 
Well, that prone bow shot we don't talk about. <laughs> well, I mean, not everything can work out the way you want it to. Some of them gotta, gotta be stubborn, you know. Let's see. We got it! Yes! <laughs> it worked! It worked! Wait. Hey guys, it didn't work. Why did that- why did that look like vital blood? Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna back out. I gotta go look at that again. We'll- we'll claim you in a second. I gotta go- <laughs> It's two beside each other. Because multiple pellets hit, that's- that's right. Oh no. Well, kids, this is why you let Scarecrow do this stuff and you don't do it yourself, <laughs> because, uh, <laughs> that can happen. This is why it's best to just let me do the stupid stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well. It's whatever. It's whatever. Hey, hey, hey now, Archie. I'm a trained professional, okay? Like I said, I'm a trained professional, man. I am a true trained professional. Least trained professional of all time. Wow, bro. Come on, man. You, you mess up one trophy, and then suddenly you're not a professional anymore. Uh, how about... You know, you know what, Archie? Parky Fernando. We'll say I thought you would headshot it. Yeah, I kind of figured it would be something more like that as well. But hey. We, uh, we intestine shot it. I almost got liver, though. Honestly, if I would have aimed a little bit lower on the second shot, it probably would have got him. The follow-up was my demise. Next time you should do the same till it works. Uh, we will see. We will see. That's gonna be have to be that's gonna have to be a big maybe for me. Nothing. Nah, there's been no info on the next map, unfortunately. Couple here. Any rares this stream so far? Yes, we got a blonde level 8 black bear. Towards the beginning of the stream. Is the new 300 good? Yes, it is incredible. It's my new favorite rifle easily. Ooh, there's a five. There's a five right there. I'm not going to go for the trick shot on this guy, though. We're just going to pop him like we normally would. Because I got to get back to my speed smoking on Fallow. So we can get, hopefully, a great one soon. Looks kind of trolly to you. Nah, I don't think it's trolly. Nah, that rack won't troll. It's just wonky. It's never serious, Liam. It's always jokes in, in the in the YouTube chat. It's always jokes. There. I forgot to put that last uh, diamond that we messed up on the diamond counter as well. Because it's still a diamond, so I still count it as a diamond on the counter. Because even a messed up diamond is a diamond.
Yeah, super wonky. Those max weights are always so wonky, man. What's up with max weight fallow being so wonky all the time? <laughs> They're just a bunch of a tent takers today. They're taking my tents. Pretty much, Hunter. Pretty much. Nice lonely deer. Love to see it. Definitely, Recluse. Definitely. It's going to be a useful gun for pretty much anyone, I think. I think it's going to be a useful gun for pretty much any loadout. Because, like, even if you're not a grinder, having a semi-automatic 300 Magnum, it's just a helpful thing to have, you know? Dear Killer King, thank you for the super chat once again. Don't tell my teacher she will be pissed. Ah, oh, man. I, I mean, how would I? How would I? <laughs> thank you for the super chat, man. Wait, what would David get confused with, Johnny? I'm confused. What estimate do I leave for HM on Fallow? I use, I leave the... um. I don't go by estimate when I leave stuff. I go by the shape of the rack. And that's primarily just because I've seen so many of these fallow deer that I just base it on the antlers for what I leave. So basically, leave all twos, leave all ones, leave all threes that are like the racks that'll score like 150 or lower. Uh, Khalil, thank you for the super chat. Hopped on my fallow grind after two weeks. Got two albinos and one piebald, all males. Let's go. That's awesome. And bearded dad, thank you for the gifts on uh, TikTok. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that, bearded dad. Really appreciate it. Well. Yeah, no problem, Ethan. Wait, is be is bearded dad disc daddy? Is that who is that what you're saying, Metal? I might be wrong. Gotta be. I don't know. I I assume it's probably someone else. <laughs> well, true, G-Man. But that's when I've already managed things down. Like, when I'm herd managing things, I look at every estimate. But once I've already herd managed the map down, then I have no reason to look at the estimate. Man, that 270 minimum estimate fallow was crazy. That really was crazy, man. That really was crazy. Five hundred and sixty two kills on the fallow grind. Ooh, that's a five. That's a five. It's a wide five, too. Very wide five, actually. Hey, Rod, thank you for the nine months. Welcome back. Thank you for the nine months, man. Nine months as a member. Two fifty six. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. 
JB, thank you for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, extra Discord channel, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Yeah, you're very close, Hunter. Very close. Oi. What gun am I primarily using? I'm primarily using the new 300 AR. This is a rifle that's going to be released on the 12th. And it is... It's really good. It's really good. This is going to be a game-changing rifle. Especially if you like grinding. And then the rifle that I'm using for the diamonds and rares and stuff is the 308 AR. Okay, that's the one we keep. This is the one I shoot. Is 300 ammo expensive? I think it's like 950 per 10 bullets. Ooh, that's a big five. That guy's a big five. Also, isn't the accuracy fix wonderful? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy they fixed the accuracy of all the guns. Because I can once again make shots like that and not, like, worry about it potentially hitting the animal that's like a millimeter to the left or right of it. Oh! Oh, 269.32! Oh, it was so close to 270! Wow. Bearded Dad, thank you for the thank you for the gift on TikTok. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Wow, that's a monster. I'm tempted to tax it, but I've already got three 270s and I think two 269s taxed. So do I? I, I guess we'll look at the rack. Is it unique or like wonky in any way? Not really. Not really. I don't think we'll keep this one, but that is a really monstrous fallow. That's crazy. Now, if it was 269.69, I'd tax it in a heartbeat. But we've already got, like, probably 30 or 40 diamond fallow deer taxidermize. Yeah, I saw that it was max weight. Big male for sure. Let's pop that on the diamond counter. This has been a solid day, man. Solid day of hunting. Solid day of grinding. Small males. <laughs> It just melts them. Bearded Daddy Gaming, thank you for the super chat. This be Daddy Discus, other is an imposter. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you, Bearded Daddy Gaming, or uh, Disc Disc Daddy, I should say. <laughs> uh, thank you, dude. Appreciate it. That's funny. That's funny. Yep, a rod, pretty much. <laughs> hey, man, with with HM, that's a solid day, you know. If it was no HM, I'd say best day fallow grinding ever. Nice, Tyler. Nice. Hey, Mr. Monkey, how's it going? Yeah, this is Tiawaroa. On the good old Tiawaroa, man. Oh, that's fine, Archie. Go, go to Quattro. Go to Quattro instead, then. <laughs> you, you, you can go to Quattro instead. In fact, that's more fitting because Quattro's the, <laughs> Quattro's the map that you were on where I joined your server and I was like, Ew, this is at the wrong time. I'm leaving. And then you were like, that was me. <laughs> so it's it's fitting that you go to Quattro. But if, if, you, if you hunt Quattro, 
If you hunt Quattro, you got to hunt at the incorrect time for what animal you want to want to see. Just just for the memes of the good old days. Oh, for sure. Boring, for sure. I'd love to see an Asia map. That'd be really cool. I think Asia, another Africa map, um, a Texas map, a British Columbia map. Those are all maps I'd really love to see. Hi, by sea is a great one. Oh, cool. It's all day. Yeah, I mean, I've showed you guys my, uh, my eye by impression. Oh, hey, sick. Ah, sick, dude. Let's go. You ready? Pretend this is a great one. Oh, thick dude. Let's go. Let's go, chat. Let's go. North Carolina map. I don't know if they'll do any more US maps unless it's something like super crazy and highly requested. I really feel like Texas is the only US map they would do at this point because we've had so many US maps and the community keeps telling them to stop doing US maps so I couldn't see them doing a US map unless it's like a Texas game ranch where they can do a bunch of exotic animals but hey maybe I'm wrong maybe they'll uh, surprise us New York City map for real. <laughs> okay, that'd be interesting. That'd be very interesting for sure. Want to hunt pigeons? Uh, hunting pigeons in New York. That'd be an interesting experience. You know, why don't we have pigeons or doves in Call of the Wild? I, I just thought of that. Like, why don't we have pigeons or doves? Little strange. Because, like, doves are pretty popular. Pigeons are decently popular. Like, you'd think we'd have at least one species of dove or pigeon. Give you the worst time for red deer. How about, how about 1 a.m.? 1 a.m. <laughs> there you go, Archie. That's the worst time for Red Deer. Or if you want something in the daytime, do uh, 15. Do 15 because, like, there'd be nothing there. Actually, go to wolf time. <laughs> go to wolf time. <laughs> that'll, uh, that, that'll, that'll get her done. Hello, little level four. How you doing, buddy? Goodbye, little fellow. I don't really watch any Call of the Wild content, uh, Genie. I I make so much Call of the Wild content that by the time I'm done making it for the day, I don't really feel like watching other people's uh, Call of the Wild content. The only time I'll really watch any Call of the Wild content is like sometimes I'll watch a, a great one videos from people if it's a really like crazy great one. And occasionally I'll watch other Call of the Wild content whenever there's big updates. To see what everybody else's thoughts and opinions are.
All right, everybody. That's probably going to be it for this stream. We went for about four and a half hours smoking some bears and some fallow deer. We'll be back tomorrow with another early access stream. Um, like I told you guys when I made the schedule for streaming and videos, um, anytime there's a new update, schedule kind of gets thrown out the window. We're going to be doing streams pretty much every day, videos pretty much every day, ramping up the content like crazy for the update. So uh, there will be a stream tomorrow, most likely. It'll probably be later in the day, though, because I got to get at least a little bit of recording done. But thank you guys so much for dropping in. Appreciate you all once again. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Peace, peace, peace.